I like to formally welcome both the players and the chat to uh, our first episode of Risky Business. Um, <laughs> I am your glo uh, glamorous game master, Goatman Games, and I'd like to introduce our players. With me at the virtual table is Barris playing the ghost of Grandpa Barris. Hi, everyone. Uh, bread mower playing as a highly inquisitive bread the bear. Hey there, all. Humid crow playing as crow the tired. Hello. Banjax playing as old man numpty. Hi. And, and finally, we have our wondrous and kind vanguard play uh, vanguard ferret playing as princess ferret of chaosity. Hi hi. Claps. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nice. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Now mm -hmm. imagine, if you will, a world of ever growing forests, rolling green hills, beautiful landscapes. We bring ourselves across the coastal shores of a beautiful cliffside in the early morning. At first glance, this is nothing more than a beautiful scenery piece. But upon, upon closer inspection, a sprawling town at the base of the cliffside, going further and further away from the coast. Buildings made of white, metal facets and tools made out of a shining purple metal. A new race for the past few generations walks among these streets, the ferret folk and similar races of similar features do business within the market squares on the outside of what seems to be a large alcove dug out by hand. Inside said alcove lies a large white castle made of marble, belonging to the royal family who once quelled such a major confusion in a, in a, during an event long ago that brought these people here. Amidst this white and purple scenery, we zoom in onto a singular room on the upper floors of the castle. A single bedroom, suited for what seems like a princess. Ferret, what would you be doing in the early mornings of your routine? G good, good question. <laughs> Very good question. Uh, I'd be getting ready for my day. Um, Perhaps looking over some some of my mail. Very importantly, D which very side of the bed do you get out of? <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> uh, uh, the the left side. Okay. Well, are you sure let about me ask that one? This. Yeah. You you mentioned mail. Do you mindlessly go through it, or do you inspect each and every one of these? Oh, you gotta letters? inspect all of it. It could be important. I mean, amongst, we don't exactly have spam mail. Okay. Amongst <laughs> these letters, uh, you see one with a particular wax seal. You've dealt with plenty of various uh, dealings between the kingdom and outside, uh, outside royalty, nobles... You don't recognize this seal. It looks like it's purple, shining purple wax with the symbol of a, essentially a shining crystal ball Ooh. on it. Fancy. <laughs> um... It does. It stands out because it's not like, I mean, it's like I said, it's something you don't recognize. You're very familiar with these lo with all the uh, sigils from various royal families, from a, from neighboring kingdoms and lords within the domain. You just don't recognize it here. Um. Sounds about right. I do. Yeah. I yeah. Yep. Yeah, there is. There's. There's a lot of families that I. I had correspondence with. Yes. Um. 
do you are you gonna are you do you do you, are you gonna open up the letter and tr- see what it's see what it's all about or you kind of kind of set it aside because it kind of just strikes you off pudding i'll set it aside because i you never know when it it could be a trap okay i'd much rather inspect you... it when others are around fair enough uh as you set it aside uh you hear a very familiar voice Someone who wanders the halls of the castle, who just hasn't really seemed to leave. Barris, what does your character what does your character say as he kind of like pops his head through the wall on the opposite side of Bar- uh, 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 <laughs> basically next to uh uh next to Ferret? Hello. Sleepy head. Did you <laughs> did you have a good night? Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grandpa Barris! Oh it's lovely to see you in the morning. <laughs> I did I did indeed have a good night. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Did you? Uh, you know, I uh, I've been wandering around the castle. <sighs> <laughs> well, as quickly as you kind of show up, Ferret, a knock on your door uh, kind of like interrupts the both of you. Oh. And you hear a familiar voice from the other side. Uh, Lady Ferret, Late, Lady Ferret, uh, are you... We have your schedule is tight today. We must go see your father. Uh, this the voice that you hear is one of Gosha, a a a very very normal looking individual. If it wasn't for the horns, you would rec- you would confuse him for a normal human. Uh, you fought on behalf of him to basically almost adopt him in a sense and keep him within the kingdom and he has become one of the royal knights of the castle thanks to you yes he Uh, has if you are ready uh we should head out at once my apologies i'm just having some trouble with my arms i can't seem to <laughs> seem to get them under control today um <laughs> no, no i am ready you may you, you may come in um I, uh, just woken up. it's fine <laughs> yeah he uh, must be so, this weird letter i got oh dear. Uh, you un you, he uh the door opens with a small click as the door uh, as the doorknob turns a very large and uh, very large individual walks in fully suited in armor uh like the and unlike normal sets of armor where it's just plated in chrome like steel this is made out of one of chaosity's major exports being this strange purple metal once they that is takes that comprises all of their tools the most metals, for any reason, uh, is uh, that's used. Um, he stands roughly six foot, maybe a little taller. Uh, he sta- he stands at attention, going, uh, "If you're ready, I am here to escort you to your father." Of course, I I am ready. Uh, I I was just talking to Grandpa Barris here. Uh, He he, he looks over, uh, he looks over at you, Barris, and goes, Now how many times have I told you you should leave the princess alone in the morning? And how many times have I told you that I don't like you, go? (laughs) Come on now, come on, guys, guys. No, no fighting in the morning. This is fair. No fighting in the morning, please. Hmm. Yes, of course. I, I uh, let me just let me just grab this letter, and uh, we can we can be on our way. Okay. Um, he, Gosha, 
starts to lead you down the halls, and uh, I assume, Barris, you are following suit, whether it's through walls or directly behind us. Uh, but as Gosha leads you through the walls, he uh, starts droning on to you, Ferret, about, uh, about your daily tasks, kind of just normally doing his normal duties, kind of just like going over your schedule, going on about the meeting with meeting for, with your father, checking out the town, making sure everything is in order, see, talking to the, with the people. Typical princess stuff. Um, uh, and he uh, stops in front of the main hall uh, he goes, your father should be waiting inside. And he ba he gives a, uh, he motions toward the door and gives a small bow out of respect. Uh, uh, you need to always he, be so formal. He, <laughs> I've told you it, this. It is, it is my job, I'm sorry. He goes, he opens the door. This large door moves almost with, with ease, with how, with the strength that he is moving it with. Inside, you see your father, uh, sitting at the uh, on his throne, going over, uh, uh, text, uh, demands, things what you what you would imagine a king has to go through and to keep his kingdom secure, safe, and prosperous. Um. He hears the door open, and he looks at you, and he goes, Ah, my sweet daughter, please, come on in, come on in. Ah! How, uh, how has your morning been? Ah, father, and uh... He look and he sees, Bar he sees Grandpa Barry, and he goes, Dad, it's good to see you. Please, join us. Fine. <laughs> didn't realize Grandpa Barris was so so grumpy all the time. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, he hello, Father. Um, uh, nice, nice, nice to see you. I hope you've uh, been having a, a good a good morning. Um, uh, is there anything you'd like to discuss today? Yes, yes, yes. Um, actually, I have. A request for you. Normally, your schedule. And I'm pretty sure Gosh uh, uh, Gosh has already filled you in for your normal duties for the day. But I actually have a slight change of plans. You see, uh, one of the neighboring kingdoms would like to uh, negotiate trades again, um, and they're offering quite a unique perspective on well what is uh, a unique perspective and very generous uh, deals on beha for all, on our behalf. I would like you to go and see if you can negotiate with them if possible. I mean, it would be a maybe a week's trip to get there, but I dare say I don't want to pass this opportunity up. You think of you uh, would be up for the task? Of course, sounds very interesting. Um, do you, do you have any more details? Not necessarily. It's just simple. It seems to be more of a simple negotiation for. Well, a simple deal that they are. It seems that they are very willing to accept as long as we provide them a good deal. They offering a lot, so we should return in kind with what we have to offer. Of course, of course. Makes a lot of sense. I'm guessing you expect me to come with her? If you'd like to go with her father, I would very much appreciate it. With you there, it would very much put my mind at ease, knowing my daughter is safe. 
Now, yes, is there anyone else you'd like me uh, to take with me? Um, I have recommendations that you can check out. I hear Ooh. there is a special blacksmith in town. He seems to be very capable in in his um well, well his handiwork. Imagine having him along would be well very beneficial. And then, as much as I would, wouldn't dare to, uh, well, maybe not. Either way, there's a less than acceptable guild out there, and finding them has been, been fairly difficult, but I do believe that their expertise in talking or, well, in, not necessarily diplomatic manners, but they can be smooth talkers. That, and they Ooh. know how to get in and out of things in a, in a gif. So I would check recommend on seeing this guild. You could probably find them within the uh outer districts the uh the le not the the uh the less fortunate districts we've been trying to solve that problem for years now i see perhaps i can indeed help there yes um if you want to get going right away that's perfectly fine just make sure your stuff is in order of course. Uh, first things first, I had a strange letter today. Um, I don't suppose you could have it checked out, just in case it uh, uh, contains any traps before I leave. Mm. What do you mean by strange? Well, here, take a look. I don't, I don't recognize the seal at all. Hmm. Neither do I. Uh. Well, let me... Let me take a look at it myself. Okay. Yeah. But please be careful. Must, yes, the king must be prepared, especially when it comes to his daughter. He grabs the letter and he examines it very closely. He he, he goes basically. He kind of he can by the looks of it, he's not necessarily casting magic, but he's definitely trying to detect uh, whether there's traps or magic involved. Um. He looks at it and he examines it very, very, very closely. He turns the letter over, does the same. He then he holds it up to the uh, holds it up to the light, the artificial light that is being cast within the uh, the chambers, and he lo looks at it very curiously and then hands it goes to hand it back. He goes nothing out of the ordinary. It seems like a very normal letter. The, the sigil and the wax seal isn't something that I recognize, but other than that, there's nothing odd about the letter. Oh, well, thank you, Father, for, for examining that for me. Uh, I can't be too sure these days. I'm sure you understand um, who I'm possibly talking about. Um, just a seal we don't know. It's very suspicious. Uh, but, but thank you. I shall... Uh, you know what? I shall open it right now. You open this letter... And there's a lot of a lot of it doesn't really make any sense. It goes on about uh, it, it starts off with kind of like as if this person, whoever wrote this knows you, but there's no signature, just the letter C written on the bottom of the letter. It goes on to say how. It has been too long since you've last spoken, and th this person really hope, uh, really, really hopes that they get to see you again in the near future. I see. Yes. Um, Interesting. He, uh... Uh, your father looks uh, uh, kind of like, kind of not necessarily reads over your shoulder, but he can't help but be curious. He goes, 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems like you have either a friend that you've forgotten about, or... I don't know. It seems... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's uh, I'm, I'm sure it's just it's just fan mail. Surely, uh, you know, uh, it well, happens happens all the time. Uh, yes, uh, as you know. <laughs> either way, I will send uh, Gusha with you to help prepare for your journey to uh, the neighboring kingdom to the uh, northwest or northeast. Sorry. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I shall make good use of him. Um, uh, Gersh is standing at the end of the end of the main hall. He takes a he, he bows very. He goes, "Of course, Your Majesty. I'll make sure she is properly prepared." Uh. Um. He uh opens the door and uh, like, kind of like kind of like open, hoping that you just walk through first, kind of just leading you through the doorway. Um. And I imagine you and close and behind Varys, you are, uh, you both of you walk uh, out the doorway. He goes, uh, Gosha looks, uh, looks at you, Ferret, goes, so, uh, where to first? Uh, I understand that you have were given uh, suggestions for a party. Yes. I, I was indeed. I feel like we should go check out this uh, <laughs> this blacksmith first. Uh, um, they might perhaps be the easiest to find, uh, apart from this mysterious group my father would like me to check out. Um, but yeah, so let's head for the blacksmith. Yes. So you guys, so you start to head out. You are, you go, tr like you look above, uh, as you head outside and stuff like that, out the castle gates, you look up at the uh, what would be the sky, but you see a cave, a cave ceiling, the alcove that has been dug out to make this city leads outwards. So you can see some sky, a lot of light is being let in, but the city is mostly um under the cover and out of the way for uh, um uh kind of like hidden if you would uh <clears throat> excuse me um as you head out uh you go throughout the market district where a lot of the blacksmiths go outside of this outside of the market it is bustling with people uh ferret uh, uh with ferret like features just like you and a lot of other races uh bear folk wolf folk all of them having some amount of features to that particular animal that have kind of been born through the um uh the incident that happened years ago uh you hear the bustling of people, your children's laughter as they play throughout the streets. It is peaceful in chaosity. Within earshot, you hear the hammering of metal. And you walk up on this blacksmith that... Um, that your father had recommended. Though, there seems to be a lot more arcane-like things here than normal uh, hammer and anvil. Um, as you go or, or walk up on it, it's very open here. Uh, Bread, what would you be doing in this instance as... The princess of the kingdom walks up on your shop. I imagine that I would be uh, fully, fully immersed in uh, in in the the contraption I was uh, I was working on, and um, completely oblivious to her approach. <laughs> mm. 
Oh dear. Oh, I feel like this is going to be an awkward interaction. Um. I. Gosha, uh, kind of just like <laughs> looks at you, fair. It looks at the, uh, the half man, half bear like individual. Kind of just like looks at the awkward situation and, uh, uh, Gosha kind of like looks at a do looks at the door doorway nearby, and he kind of just like gives it a loud knock to try and get your attention, bre uh, Bread. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't see you come in there. I was just working on the uh, you know, uh, that's that's not really relevant. Um, yeah, uh, uh, uh hello, hello. Uh, oh, wait, I recognize you. Hello there, good sir. Uh, sorry, sorry to startle you. Um. Duh. My uh, my my friend here, he 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 lacks patience, um, clearly. Uh, but h hello, how uh, h how how are you this uh, fine fine morning? I I have my tools, I have my projects. Uh, it is always a fine morning when I can be building things. You do seem to have a lot of uh, interesting arcane items around here. Oh yes, uh, one of the things I'm most interested in is how we can kind of uh, fuse uh, the existing um, things that, that blacksmiths would make, but with more 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 mystical, more more magical uh, items. Uh, I, I think it's a very very exciting field. We with all, I just itching to try um, and and see what we can create. Interesting. Uh, so, sorry to bother you. Uh, it's just my father. Uh, he he gave me uh, your your name. Um, he said you might be able to help me. Um... Help? Help? Uh, what, what? 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 do you need? What? What kind of help? Uh, well, um, we're going on a bit of a, a mission. It seems. Uh, I need to uh, go over and um, do some uh, negotiating uh, with a, a neighboring race. I was wondering um, uh, what what type of uh, sort of team to take with me, and he gave me your name. I mean, it, it sounds kind of diplomatic. I mean, it, it sounds like an admin and, and paperwork. Uh, I, I mean, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know if I could leave the, um, leave, leave the workshop for, for that long. I mean, well, wh where, where are you going? Unless, unless there's something, um, you know, uh, I mean, there's a few places I've, I've heard that uh, might have some interesting gear I'd like to examine. Where, well, where, where are you going? Uh, That's um, a good question. Gosh, uh, go, uh, Gosha, uh, kind of like, uh, kind of like, like, if if I may, uh, Lady Ferret, I believe I can be assistance here. I may not be the uh, smartest individual. Uh, the kingdom to the northeast, the divine kingdom of Wrath, uh, they were hoping to, uh, establish more trade relations between uh, our kingdom and their own though i see i kind of guess in why her father recommended you i originally thought you were just some regular blacksmith yet i see here you are skilled in not really blacksmithing but uh arcane tools I, I don't really know what these are i'm not like i said i'm not the smartest though with if we were to make or essentially make our tools with the metals that we produce mixed with arcane abilities such as what you can do i imagine that kind of trade or that kind of business would do benefit the kingdom very greatly. I think that is, uh, if, if I may, Lady Ferret, if I think that is what your father has, is intending for taking this individual. I see. He wasn't. He wasn't particularly clear, though. My father never is. He just sends me off. Uh, uh, you know what? I should have perhaps asked more questions. Um... <laughs> But yes, if you uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, helping us, kind sir, I'm sorry, I completely have not asked you your name. How rude of me! Uh, uh, they um they 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 call me 
me. They call me Bread. It's a it's a, a corruption of of my name from my uh, my original clan. Um, our, 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 our our names are, are, are all Bear uh, and with a with a surname. And um, yes, when I when I first came to the the, the city here, someone misread it and and um, thought that my name was Bread. So uh, it's it's stuck. It's stuck. But I it's see. a pleasure to meet you, um, uh, Lady Ferret. Nice to meet you, Bread. I, I hope we uh, we can become good friends if you decide to join us on this journey. Well, well, from from what your uh, your advisor there says, it, it it sounds like diplomacy, but diplomacy to show off our our, our, our interesting um, tech technology and and things that we've made. I I mean, I do always like to um, uh, to, to to talk about the things that I've made. Um, it could be interesting. And, I mean, we may stumble mean, across other interesting things there that we can bring back to the city. It, uh, Gosha kind of like uh, uh, like ponders for a second. He goes, I do like to purchase my gear after seeing that it works. A demonstration is usually good for buying or selling things. So... Maybe bring if you were to bring along a demonstration of your talents, maybe that would. Yes, kind of we could. Get we could. We sell. could give a, a presentation and and show them, show them all of the exciting creativity that we have in in the city. Yes. Okay. That that. Um, I I think I think that probably is worthy of uh, well of leaving the workshop for for a little while. How how long do you envisage this um this trip taking? Uh, it's about a week's long journey to get to the nearest port city and get to their capital uh, by boat. If that's I mean, not too inconvenient for you? A, a week either way? Hmm. I, I think I can... I I'm think sure. I can work with that. I haven't got any um, significant uh, outstanding orders uh, we, need, we need to fulfill here. We can yeah. make it worth your while. I'm sure you. I'm sure your father wouldn't have recommended these people without knowledge of paying them at the very. Of least. course, of course. Well, we don't ask it for uh, free. That that sounds like a nice uh, a nice bonus. I, I obviously all of the work that we do here does uh, does require funds to um, to in investigate and build these things. Um, Although um, sometimes just just being able to show them off to people and and talk about them is uh, is its own reward. However, uh, yes, a, um, if 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 there is some some payment that would uh, cover my time uh, away yeah. from the uh, the workshop, I I think I think we can work there. Um, yes. As you guys were kind of like discussing uh, this kind of stuff, there. Um... Anyone currently here can give me a perception check if you would so please. Ooh. I can do that. Yes. Uh, technically, it'd be uh, Bar uh, be Barris, Bread, and Ferret if you would want to. Uh, Gosha will actually have one as well. Yes, ten. Okie dokie. Let me. Perception, was it? Perception, yes. Um, Twelve for me. Ten. Ten. Um, none of you seem to um, kind of notice anything, but Go Gosha, with a 17 perception, looks over and sees an individual kind of like in the shadows of the workshop, kind of like, not to say rummaging, but kind of to pocket very, like, like something, not to say it may be a value, but he doesn't know the value of a lot of these items. Um, and he calls out this individual, uh, uh, going, sir, you need to put that down or I will have you arrested. Or I'm, man, I'll but, even rest you myself. Crow, you... what does your character do in this um, instance no. as you're excuse, trying to pocket excuse me. an item? 
I was just getting this ready to buy this. What are you talking about? Give me a per give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> All right. Where is this? Okay, on your there. Right. Yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go. Go. She looks at you and goes, <laughs> "Sir, don't try to fool me. If you okay. do, if you do wish to intend to buy it, please do so now. However, okay, I don't even. Well." This is just highly disrespectful. Like, I'm just browsing the store and I'm being accused of stuff. I don't even feel like shopping here anymore. Like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just put the item down and I get ready to walk out. <laughs> wow, okay, that's, that's a bit weird. Uh, um, uh, Brad, and... sorry, we, uh, we lost you a customer there. Um, or, or I, stopped a thief. I feel like um, I feel like someone who was trying to steal wasn't going to be a customer anyway. So um, thank, really? thank you for, uh, for I stopping. I have been here several times. You don't even recognize me. Uh, um, I, I I sort of peer at his face okay. and kind of squint like I don't ever recognize well, here's anyone. Here's the question, Crow. Have you actually been here at this shop before on several no. occasions? Give me a persuasion roll and. <laughs> Uh, Bread, give me an insight roll. You guys are fighting each other. Oh. Oh, you gotta beat a 23. That is not gonna happen. Um, so, okay. you, so, you believe him. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I didn't recognize you. Yeah, you do look, you do look kind of familiar. Sorry, so yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I, I, it must be, it, it must be the light casting a shadow on your face. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, yes, yes, my, my, my mistake, my mistake. Yes, yeah, I, I, I think um, he has been here before. Actually, lady, uh, it, go, uh, it seems go only fair, like, <laughs> that I get this item that I was browsing for for free, right? Because otherwise, this is quite the insult. Uh, in fact, I, I will never yeah, come here again. I do remember you. Now. You're the one with the outstanding. Bill, aren't you? I I think. Um, <laughs> oh, I have no such uh, thing. Uh, are you, are you sure? <laughs> now, now that you draw attention, yeah, I I, I, I do remember you coming in, and and I I let you have something on credit, but um, I, I, yeah, is that why you're here? Are you you here to settle your bill? Um, uh, I have no such thing, sir. Uh, what are you talking Go about? Gosha kind of like with kind of like understanding the situation, and kind of like a light bulb clicks. He goes. Uh, leans into uh, leads into Lady Ferret to kind of like not really draw attention, uh, or, uh, try not to uh, basically trying to draw less of attention from to what he's about to say. So he kind of leans in. He's just like Lady Ferret. I um, if we want to find that unsavory organization, why not ask this individual? He might know something. Good. Um, good question. Good, 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 good question. It's not really a question, is it? Uh, good point. Good point. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sirs. Um, you're just, just. Uh, I, I see you uh, two uh, bickering there. Uh, sorry to, sorry to interrupt. Um, but uh, may I, may I talk to this uh, sneaky rogue for a second? Yes. What's up, uh? Princess, I know ah. you are. So, I know you're so you, over there too. You know us then, huh? And you seem to have a lot of information uh, that that you know. Um, and I mean, I you probably would have done a great job at uh, stealing those items had uh, had we not uh, got Gosha here. Uh, um, it's very perceptive. Go, um, go I do have. <laughs> information but what like uh, so i know go, things that's true go gosha kind of like um kind of like looks at the both of you he looks at you crow and goes um though i am a knight of the royal family i cannot let you steal anything however i'm he kind of like turns his head like he, he's about to regret what he's about to say i'm Willing to overlook your transgression for a bit of information regarding a recently established unsavory group that has caught on. We're looking 
<sighs> Without divulging too much information, we would like to hire or hope to have someone accompany us on a, as a companion for a job that we are performing. They come mm, slightly recommended by Lady Ferret's father. Um, mm. Crow, give me a history check real quick. You remember a few months ago that the king hoped to get in touch with your group and it wasn't you who necessarily uh talked to him but um uh it wasn't yeah, it wasn't you who necessarily spoke to him but you know who did um with the with what you rolled uh you also remember talks about sending you on that on that mission in hopes of establishing some sort of operation or, op or base of operations in a neighbor in the neighboring kingdom I see. Um, yeah, I've heard of this situation, and I've also heard of this group that you're talking about. Um, have you talked about any sort of compensation with your father? <laughs> of course, of course, you're uh, Because that is in. not necessary. Are you sure? Are you sure? You haven't even told me your name, and yet here you are asking about uh, compensation. It's on need to know basis. I don't even have a name anyway. Okay. Um, Sounds suspicious to me. Uh, I have yeah, no idea well, why my yeah. father would recommend you, but well, he has. I, so. He hasn't necessarily recommended me, but my organization may have caught light of the situation before. All that is required, as per usual, is a favor from your father. I see. And what would this favor be? Uh, can be disclosed later. <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Uh, um, Gosha? Uh, it's a little too suspicious no. for me. Quite honestly, I could go without having this... Look, lecture. I know you're... I know um, this this situation. Um, I know how your father deals with this sort of stuff. He would not have asked for us if he didn't... He knows about this. He would not have asked for us if he didn't know what the price was. So, And this is the price. He makes a good point. I mean, if anything we'll does fine. go wrong... If anything and... does go wrong on the trip, I do imagine having someone with stealthy capabilities would be a beneficial as long as he upholds his bargain he gets paid so <laughs> i don't think the money speaks loud and these we have a reputation to hold up so that won't be an issue i feel uh, like he's gonna cause us more more trouble than it's it's worth but sure well, if you wouldn't I'm... mind joining us. Yes. Um Gosha, uh, Gosha looks uh looks at everyone in, like involved right now. He goes he he gives a gives a very heavy sigh and he looks around and goes Honestly, I don't know what your father is thinking, but if he believes that this is the best course of action, then I have no choice but to follow his command. Grandpa Barris, I don't. Uh, could you just stop inspecting those things over there for a second? Are you are you okay, Grandpa Barris? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't suppose you have any uh, information. I know you like lurking around uh, my father. Um, 
you do seem to bring me information from him from time to time. Uh, have you heard him ever mention this? Um, I heard him speak about this orga organization, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. Um, it wasn't really that interesting. But I if see. he told you to find it, then I don't see a problem with working with them. Fair enough. Well then, rogue without a name, I suppose you have your answer. Well, yeah, I am fine to go on this trip. And in fact, I already know some of the details. Um, yeah. Fair enough. I suppose we should get a wagon prepare for our trip. Indeed. Um, Indeed we should. Uh, then I suggest we all meet up at the north gate in a few hours, then. It gives everyone enough time to go and procure their uh, travel uh, belongings. Uh, I should go attend to the king. Excuse me, uh, Bread, since we're part of the same party, you can, like, give this item as a token of friendship, right? <laughs> oh, not this again. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm gonna go prepare to see you guys. Okay. Um, okay. I, I can perhaps extend your credit a bit further. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this is the um, last extension, though. Oh, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Okay. Um, I will for sure pay you back. Don't worry. Okay. So, fair. Are do you are you going to prepare on your own, or are you going to follow Agosha to the castle? Uh, I'm going to go prepare on my own. Okay. Uh, so you're going to go prepare on your own. Is everyone going to? Is everyone kind of splitting up and doing their own thing, getting prepared, or are people sticking together? I. Where shall we meet up in a couple of hours? Uh, Were you not listening? I suggest at the <laughs> north gate, I will get a wagon prepared from the royal castle to take uh, you all there. I, unfortunately, my duties remain here unless your father tells me otherwise. So I will not be joining you. Um, yeah, I do have some stuff to take care of. So bye. And I swiftly walk out the door. Okay. So charming fellow he is. Indeed, indeed. Um let's see. Okay, so we're going to start with um Okay, well so okay, so Ferret you're going off on your own. Crow you're going off on your own. Bread, I imagine you're off on your own too. Uh, yeah, I imagine I am um, just going to potter around the workshop, uh, packing up a few things into bags to um, to take with me. Okay, so and, we need to go and give a demo. Grandpa Barrios, are you going with Ferret? Are you going straight back to the castle, or what are you doing? I stay. I stay in the workshop, since I don't really have that much to pack. I just investigate the artifacts that yes. Bread created. Okay, so you're going to stick with Bread. All right, yeah. perfect. All right, so we're gonna start with uh between between. Or, well, we're going to start with ferret. Ferret, give me a. Well, let's see. Let me let me look at some of this real quick. So. I imagine you know the city's layout pretty well. You've lived here all your life. Of course. Um, give me a perception check. Oh, oh no. Thirteen. Thirteen. Off around in the corner, you... And not necessarily relatively busy. It's very, very quiet now in the in some of these streets that you're walking on your way uh, to get yourself kind of ready and 
whether whether it be shopping or going back to the castle to get some of your belongings, you over here uh in a very very run down shack uh someone talking and playing music as if it was just regular and typically a a bard kind of like sits outside but this is coming like from within a building and it doesn't look like a tavern it just looks like a run down shack interesting um it definitely it definitely catches your interest because like said, it's not normal and if there, no one's trying to hide you can definitely hear the music huh that's a bit unusual there's never usually any music down here uh you know what let's go check it out um as you approach this uh the shack you kind of like see it's not like wholly secure there's a few little cracks and little uh holes nothing too big that you can see through it but it kind of like definitely shows off that there's light coming from within uh from inside um um and kind of the, the music kind of is still going um and you hear a voice it sounds it, this voice doesn't sound young but it doesn't sound like rough like an old man would be Um what are they saying? Um give me a give me another perception check to see if you can hear over the music. <laughs> okay. Um it sounds like they're trying to sing. They're not singing <laughs> fairly well. Oh no. And none of the lyrics that they're singing makes any sense. Nothing rhymes. Nothing. It, it seems like utter nonsense. <laughs> oh dear. How. Mm, yes. It's, it's... Mm. And as. I don't you, know what to do with this information. As, as you sit there, the music stops. Oh. Is everything okay? You hear you don't hear footsteps, but all of a sudden the door opens fairly quickly and you see a ragged old man just standing there. Banjax, what does Numpty what does Numpty do staring at the Princess of Chaosity at his front door? <laughs> Your smell is distracting. I'm tr I'm trying to make masterful work. <laughs> I'm trying to score this epic story <laughs> with my friend Jermaine. Say hi, Jermaine. In the background, you see a fairly large bear, a regular bear, kind of just sitting in the corner with a little, like, beret for a hat and a scarf as if it was a normal person. Do you know how long we've been working on this? <laughs> Do you? I'm sorry, I, I, I am ever so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just heard the uh, the wonderful music. Yes, yeah, that, that definitely uh, wonderful. I was just uh, curious as to, to to what was happening here. And um, I, hi, 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 Jermaine. I guess you the 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 bear gives you a the bear in the back kind of just gives you a slight nod. Like, it, he understood stood you, kind of, but doesn't really know what's going on. Jermaine. Uh, Jermaine. Who's your manners? Wait. Um, He's upset. He's upset with me. me, yeah. me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't me, was it? I, I haven't upset Jermaine at all. I know um, he looks at Jermaine kind of worryingly. 
Uh, uh, it's probably fine. So, <laughs> 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 he was saying I, I need to put more oomph into it. So, right, Jermaine? Uh, <laughs> it, it, um, it's for an epic we're writing called um, um Fair, Dick. while he's talking, give me an insight check. Oh, but, but, the, but the where is the insight is oh, still in your sushis. So there, here you go. Ten. That does it. Um, you against your better judgment, you're looking at this old man. He's senile, but he seems to be able to communicate with nature fairly well. A closer inspection of, like, the interior of his house, you see a lot of, like, magical stuff. It looks like a, 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 a stand that has a, 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 a crystal kind of, like, attached to it. It's glowing as if it has, like, magical properties and fairly different things. You see a guitar in the, in the corner. Uh, and... Oh, next to Jermaine. Uh, and... It looks very druidic in in here. You also kind of just realize you don't have a guide to lead you guys outside, like through through the nature, through the forests. Um, you've this is the first guy you kind of come across. You feel like you could maybe having one more and I don't think your father would you don't think your father would mind too much of paying one more individual for this trip uh you think that it may benefit you to bring him along and so, and so Jermaine was telling me that we I'm what I'm saying makes no sense. So I just started throwing words out here and there, and it, it's all fine. It, 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 it sort of rhymes. Shut up, yeah, it totally it, does. I, I, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> what, what's this thing I, I think it's some for for oh, an epic me. called dodgy workload. Uh, okay, I don't suppose your bear likes dressing up at all. I mean, Jermaine. Um, just just curious. Uh, no, that's not. No, wait, I get distracted. <laughs> You're the senile one here. Um, I mean... Excuse me, I suppose you uh, know your way around this, uh, this land. Define no. Uh, it's a good question. <laughs> I don't have a dictionary on me right now. Um... <laughs> I, I, can, I can go wherever I want to, and I'll make it there, if that's what you mean. Okay, that that sounds about right. Honestly, I mean, this party can't get any worse, can it? Now, um, uh, I don't suppose you're interested in an adventure. It's only Act One, so sure. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, that was, forgive me. Uh, apologies. I haven't even asked your name yet. I know Jermaine. Wait, I, 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 do you want Jermaine to go? I. No, I want. I... Jermaine can't go. He has a family. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no, I was asking you, sir. I was asking you. Who's you? Oh, you. I mean, <sighs> you, you mean to say you as in me, not, yes. not me as in you. Yes, yes, right. that, exactly that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 my, my, my brain, um, I, I, it takes me time to keep up sometimes. It's the old age, you know. I, of course, of course. Uh, couldn't be Are anything other than that. Uh, Who anyway, you? <laughs> would you like to go on an adventure? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I was asking your name, but we can deal with my, that later. My, 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 my name is Numpty. Ah. Everyone calls me Numpty. It's not my name, but it is my name. <laughs> nice to meet you, Numpty. It's very <laughs> and, fitting. And with that, 
That's fair. Um, <laughs> uh, Farrah, you kind of say farewell to Numzi as you let him know that, hey, we're all meeting at the northern northern gate uh, here in a few hours once uh, everyone's kind of like sort of set up and ready to go. Um, Can Numzi there... just say he knows that already? <laughs> he doesn't, but like he'll he'll <laughs> pretend that he know. I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, is there anything anyone wants to do within the span of a few hours before, uh, uh, heading out? I'm good. Okay. Does, I'm does, good, does, yeah. does this does Chaos City have like a a water fountain? There's plenty of wells and things of that nature uh, around. Some of well, some some magical tools here and there that kind of like also provide clean water. Well, Numpty needs a bath, so he's gotta find like the nearest <laughs> fountain or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you find a perfectly uh, not really secluded, but it, there's no there's hardly any traffic and. No one really pays any mind to you about uh like getting like a quick wash in. Um everyone kind of like just turns their head and kind of tries to ignore you. So a few hours pass. Um and No pants, by the way. Oh god. No pants. So um a few hours pass and everyone is making their way to the north gate. Um as you uh um as you sit there uh or, or as you guys approach the north gate you guys see a very well supplied wagon uh with Gosh just uh standing there Numdi, you don't know who this man is but he is dressed up as a, he looks like a royal knight um and he Kind of like he like waves to you, Ferret, and like motions all of you to come join him. Uh, as, as you guys approach, uh, he goes, uh, he, he gives you a, a quick bow, Ferret. Uh, it goes, Lady Ferret, uh, your father has instructed me to at least accompany you to the nearest port city. Beyond there, you are on your own. Ah, nearest port city is that way. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for letting me know. Um, <laughs> which, well, hold on, Numpty, which direction do you, do you point? The, the vaguest direction that's technically north, correct. North, north, south, east, west. Uh, anything in between? Oh, I don't know. Numpty knows the place better than I do. But it's like very, very generalized direction he's pointing. Okay. So, um, you point, and Go Gosha looks at you, kind of like, if you're more, uh, you, you kind of like, just point down the road, and he kind of goes, I mean, yes, but also no, we're heading more to the, to the east directly, um, this is just the only gate outward to the north, um, uh, he, um, like, hops uh, onto the cart and gets ready to, uh, basically kind of just, like, uh, drive the cart to, to y'all's destination. Uh, does everyone just simply hop in to the back? Who, anyone riding up front with Go Gosha? Or does anyone, uh... I want to ride on the horse. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. You're, you're bringing <laughs> Numpty? Really? Oh, you, you know this guy? Well, we've heard of him. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. And um, I it's... sit in the back somewhere. You sit, like, you sit as... in the back of the covered wagon. Um, there's a lot of, like, decent supplies, a bunch of food. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, uh, he, you sit in the back. There's a bunch of like, like food, a bit of like ammunition, like arrows, uh, and general, general supplies for camping out and 
things of that nature. Uh, anyone else hopping in the back with Crow? Uh, yeah. Me. Cool. Ferris, you gotta just hover into the into the back there. You are you are a ghost after all. Um, Ferret and Bread, where are you guys? I'll hop into the back because someone needs to keep their eye on this rogue. I, I've seen, uh, yeah, I've I've seen Crow get into the back, and uh, I I start moving towards the the front. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll go up front with Gosia. Okay, Gosia um, uh, welcomes you onto the front, and Numti kind of just hops on the horse uh, <laughs> in the front. Gosia kind of gives him the weirdest look, and he's like, as long as he doesn't cause problems with the horse i guess he can sit there um dumpty starts talking with the horse like why are these guys so weird right um, <laughs> uh yeah uh a horse uh gives you like uh, like a, a nod and just like like who like what is going on uh i'll just pull a carrot out of nowhere and give it to the horse the the horse uh, neighs like very happily and uh, kind of like kind of like kind of like trots back and not necessarily trot but kind of like you know like you know like a happy little shuffle the horses do that kind of thing um yeah we'll sh we'll share the carrot <laughs> like yeah um it's my last one so he goes uh, uh, Gusha uh, calls out to everyone going so if everyone's ready we're gonna get on the road then yeah, uh, I think we're ready. Uh, he gives you hear a uh, crack of the reins, and you guys are off. A lot of, if, as you guys set off, and the city kind of like disappears to your back beyond the woods. Um, small banter, uh, ha a little small banter, talking back and forth, kind of like getting to know each other and some way shape or form you guys share names oh uh, and who basically a little uh, like base the basic gist of who you are uh and like night starts to roll around fairly quickly it's only the first night uh out it you didn't leave too late. You le you left early afternoon, and it's been a few hours. And you guys have traveled quite a bit of distance. Um, as you guys do, you guys stop at a clearing. Or go go just stops the wagon at a at a clearing, and kind of just like. Um, kind of like speaks up. He goes, "I think we should camp out for a while uh, for the night. I think we've traveled enough, and I'd rather not travel at the in, during the dark." We agree. No, fair yeah, enough. That seems like a good idea. We have been traveling for a while. Yeah. Yep. You guys, you guys start setting up camp, and everything seems normal. Uh. Anyone here can give me a perception check. Ooh. Wow. 21. Nice, nice. nice. Let's see. So. All right. Barris is very perceptive. <laughs> okay. Bread, Numpty, and Barris. You guys all notice a very, very faint purple glow emanating from Ferret's belongings. Weird glow coming out of your bag. Huh? What's that? Uh, the You're not a warlock, are you? The moment Excuse you me? mention it, I imagine fair you turn around to go look at your bag, but the moment it is mentioned, as quickly as it came, 
the ominous or the ominous purple glow stops and it's just a plain bag you don't ferret you uh well you and numpty uh oh i'm sorry i said numpty it was bread crow and bears who notice um my apologies that's okay um either way i imagine one of you uh uh pointed it out and the moment it was it's pointed out it is uh just simply back to normal uh ferret no and numpty you guys don't notice it at all and you have no reason like like they mentioned it but you didn't see it huh. and i thought i was crazy anyway yeah, I, I have no idea what you're talking about I, I, I swear, I just like your, your bag was was glowy. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Like you sure? I saw it too, but I'd Take be careful. It from me, I know crazy, and you're crazy, man. <laughs> okay, that I'll glow did that not seem normal. Mm. Like we need to be very careful with this. For the record, I mean that as a compliment. There shouldn't be any. <laughs> there shouldn't be anything in my bag that glows like that. Um. Well, I you, say we. We make a sort of contraption to be able to open this from from far away. Wait, open my bag? No, no, yes. you're definitely not going through my bag. I, I am not going through your bag. I don't even Dumpty want run, to. Dumpty <laughs> runs up to the bag and just opens it. Wait, what? <laughs> Get out of there! Yeah. Okay, I don't contraption. Numpty, right, so Numpty, you open the bag. There's nothing <laughs> outstanding in this particular bag. Um, Excuse me, uh, you can't just open a princess's bag like that. You're a princess? Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> the record. Um, but this is you... why I didn't want to bring him. Okay. So, like, the bag the bag is open, and there's a lot of just regular stuff here. Rations, uh, uh, weapon, uh, like small weapons, rope, basically basic adventuring supplies that you would normally bring uh, along with, and you don't remember packing this, but you brought it along anyway. The letter from earlier today, it's in your bag. Oh, I had a bag in there. I must have got mixed up with some clothes or something. I, Numpty, put my underwear down. <laughs> Numpty drops it, fucks off to get water. <laughs> get water. Um, <laughs> um as it go Gusha looks at at Ferret and kinda just like turns his head away, kinda just like he didn't see anything. Um and continues kinda like to try and get the campfire going. Um and the uh, tents are now all set up and things of that nature. Uh, who is, or so? What is the sleeping setup? Who's staying awake? Who's being on watch? Or is everyone going to bed? What's going? I would on? want to take the first watch. I'm yeah, I don't awake. trust that. I don't trust that at all. We've got a perfectly fine watcher right here with Grandpa Barris. Exactly. He's the only one I trust. Anyway, do you even sleep? No, no, he does not. See? So, Perfect. Weird ass creature. I wouldn't <laughs> mind company, so join me if you want. So, uh, it first... seems very a lot less interesting uh, with that setup. I'll just go to bed. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll stay up and uh, keep you company. Uh, you, right, so, it's... So, first watch is... Uh, bears and bread, correct? Yeah. Yep. All right. So, give me a per. Both of you, give me a perception check. Fuck. All right. You guys don't really notice Oof. anything <laughs> out of the ordinary. As first watch is going on, ferret. You, you've had, 
in the past, you've had very lucid dreams. And some of them never really amount to anything, but others, you kind of feel like they've happened in real life. Kind of a moment of deja vu. This one feels lucid. You find yourself standing in the empty streets of Chaosity. Which is very unusual. Even at night, it's usually bustling with uh, tavern goers, late night shoppers, or <coughs> or even uh, some amount of shenanigans. But it's quiet. No bustling. No obnoxious uh, uh, tavern goers. Even the stalls and stands are empty. The shop owners are there. And amongst this quiet, dark uh, ambiance, now granted, it is, like, as you're dreaming, it is night here. Weird. You hear a very familiar voice behind you. Oh. Well, hello, dear sister. It's been a while since I've last seen you. Uh-oh. Uh, hello there. What are you- oh, uh, Why am I dreaming about you? Because I want you to. I see. I see. Uh, is this real or is it just a dream? Hmm. That is for you to decide. I hope okay. you got my letter. Ah, of course I did. It was very obviously from you. Though, uh, mm. father didn't seem to realize. Hmm. Father was always kind of the dull one. Never appreciated magic. There's a reason for that. Hmm. What are you doing here? What do you want from me? Can't your sister just simply say hello? They can. Uh, you're not known for that, though. Mm. You're right. Mm. No, I just simply wanted you to, to tell the ambassador from the neighboring kingdom that I said hello. He knows me. Hmm. When you well. get there, please do me that one favor. Fair enough, I can do that, but I guess uh, it's just, just about saying hello. Mm -hmm. And what do you think it's about? Well, I don't know, but it's never simple when you're involved, Cordelia. Mm. Well, it's more fun. <sighs> By the way, have a nice night. The moment every... Uh, the moment she finishes her sentence, a dark swirl of mist envelops the entire area. You can't see anything. She disappears, and your lucid dream comes to an end. You, but you don't awake. You're very much asleep, and you know you're asleep. And it's just dark. Hmm. In the distance, you see a fire, a light. 
it starts out small, like the sound of a torch. It grows in sound. It becomes like a campfire, crackling, then larger, until eventually it sounds like a raging inferno of a forest fire. And you can hear faint screams as if they were at a distance. Oh, God. <laughs> and as vividly as, as you imagine these sounds, or as you dream these sounds, and you see this fire grow, you wake up in an instant. Ah. <sighs> what a strange dream. Yes. Who would be on second watch? At this time, so it would be uh, so. Barris, you, I'd imagine you still be up because yes, you don't have to sleep. Yes. But who would take Bread's place? Oh, I'd like to point out that I DM'd you something there, Goatman. What's up? In case that's relevant. Hmm. But um, you like the what? I'm sorry. Say it again. <laughs> I DM'd you something on Discord just to explain something. Okay, yeah. So, um, who would be on second watch? Uh, if no one would want to do second watch, Gosha would glad uh, would gladly take up second watch with uh, Grandpa Barris. I mean, I'm awake, so may as well. Very sleepy. Well, well, you're waking up. Oh. You're waking up during second. The during the okay. second watch. I see. I see. Um. So, uh, so if no one's gonna take it, so you wake up to, uh, bread now, asleep and Gosha and uh, uh, um, and a uh, grandpa bear is kind of just sitting around a campfire, uh, kind of just keeping watch. They're not really talking because they've never really got along in the first place uh we but did not <laughs> what we really didn't oh dear <laughs> yes um though for somewhat of a good reason you've always known since gusha was a paladin he firmly believes that a spirit should move mm -hmm. on and yeah. Barris didn't quite like that. He's found uh, uh, Grandpa Barris found that kind of insulting because Gosha tried to like get him to kind of like move on to the afterlife, kind of like it was very kind of pushy about it, um, but never really budged. Wow, um, savage! Really trying to get rid of yes. Grandpa Barris like that. <laughs> Though Gusha kind of respects the notion, uh, he he has he has apologized profusely before. He didn't mean like you know like in the past like, he didn't really mean anything by it. He just didn't understand why Grandpa Barish wanted to stick around. Uh, but um, yeah, you wake up to uh, uh, bread and crust uh, asleep uh, uh, and. Uh, Numpty still missing. Uh, cause he kind of when when he dropped your stuff, he kind of literally did, walked into the woods and disappeared. You haven't seen him uh, since. Um, Fair enough. <laughs> but uh, Gosh, uh, no, he, uh, hears you rustle and uh, and uh, notices you're awake. He goes, "Oh, uh, Lady Ferret." Okay. You seem a bit uh, flushed. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine. Just, uh, just weird, weird dream. That's all. Mm. Well, it's about time to end my watch with Grandpa Barris. Uh, since you're up, do you want to take third watch? Oh, of course. Of course, I don't mind. 
Um, so, uh, Gosho uh, heads over to his tent and kind of like hustle, uh, rustles into it. Um, as you and Barris are now, uh, uh, you and Grandpa Barris are now on watch, not a lot happens. You hear the faint cawing of crows, maybe a, a howl or two from a very distant wolf. But other than that, it's a fairly peaceful night. Your mind is still filled with the dream that you had. You didn't really know too much. And I imagine... I, I, I imagine uh, you would kind of like figure out what Cordelia's deal is right now, wouldn't you? Cordelia... <laughs> sure, she meant to be asleep. <laughs> uh, that was a bit weird. I could have sworn that rogue over there was laughing in his sleep. Yeah. I do your simping till daytime. <laughs> uh. <laughs> But um, I mean, yes. I imagine you'd be uh, kind of wondering about Cordelia's uh, like yeah. what what her whole plan is now because she's hundred percent. Yeah. So your your thought process is kind of like stuck on that, and before long, you like it's morning. You didn't realize how close to morning it was until you kind of just like the light light started basically shining from the tree line. Didn't really notice it because, like I said, you were too much engrossed in your own thought. Um, if you want, you may either give me uh, actually give me um, let me double check this. Give me an insight check, uh, to try and see if you can decipher what uh, Cordelia is trying to do here. All what right. Twenty one. <laughs> okay. Now let me ask. Let me let me ask this. What do you think your plan is, or what do you think her plan is? Like if you had if you had to give a very general guess what do you think is like what do you think her plan is with what or what do you think she's trying to accomplish uh, like you know her best but if you had some amount of if you had a hunch to try and lead you in the right direction what would you what would it be Hmm, I mean, she's clearly not just contacting to say hi, so, uh, um, I don't know why she'd want to get in contact with, uh, me specifically, uh, and, and no one else, um, hmm, I can only assume she has, uh, revenge on her mind for being cast out. Because she hasn't contacted us all since then. Yeah. With your 21 insight check that you rolled, you believe that she has made contact with other kingdoms. Especially those that openly accept magic a lot more than Chaosity does. You don't know the implications of what might happen if you do mention her name. Mm. But you uh, you don't know whether it would it good things would come of it or bad things. That would be a gamble up for you to decide. But you do think uh, with uh, again with twenty one. You do think that if 
like mentioning her name will cause something to happen. But you also know for a hundred percent that there is more at play than just Cordelia planning on uh, uh, uh more at play than just Cordelia planning a revenge. It seems too sudden that she would contact you out of nowhere. So she's either ready with something or she is planning or has been planning on you leaving Chaosity. I see. I see. Makes sense. It's very, very suspicious timing. Yes. Now, question is now, do you share any of this information with anyone currently at, at, at camp? Definitely not. Okay. So, the, the so we're going to fast forward a little bit here now. From about the next day maybe day and a half, you guys find yourself in the eastern port city of Chalks. A very a uh, very simple fish, uh, fishing village or fishing uh, uh, a city that primarily focuses its round on its uh, its seafood. It's very very well known for it with the help of a lot of modern stuff brought to chaosity from its event years and years ago you help uh the port city flourished in a lot of its seafood culture and very popular place to go for a lot of uh like nobility because well it's good um you guys, um, now, I'll leave this up to the party. Do you guys wish to do anything here in the, in the port city or simply con uh, continue onward on your journey as, as hastily as possible? I suppose I'd like to show up again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're yeah. gone. Bye. I think you forgot See about me there, right? <laughs> no, no. So... <laughs> This works. Though. The entire okay, so the entire time, Numpty has been gone. Oh God! Yet for some reason, when you guys arrive in the ch at Chalks, Numpty's there. Simply <laughs> just there. For he... fuck's sake! I thought we finally got rid of him. <laughs> I have the feeling we won't ever get rid of him now. <laughs> I found yeah. water. You yes, really? You, you came this entire way for water? You did. I Don't look at me, the horse wanted good water. You took a horse as well? <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> I didn't take the horse. I was oh. getting water for the horse. Oh, well, if you I... excuse me. And he walks <laughs> up with a guitar full of water. <laughs> puts it up to the horse. And the horse enjoys. Yeah, the horse simply just like... <laughs> Gives you a very light nod and very confused and kind of like it took a while, but he got some very very good quality water from uh, <laughs> out of he starts drinking it from your guitar. I mean, this horse is like, like thanks for getting the horse some water, but he's been he's been very dehydrated for the past few days, so that's why we got here so slowly. I would have figured you guys would have at least tried to take care of the horses, but yeah, okay. You said you were getting water. We trusted you. <laughs> yeah, you um, seem surprised that I'm here. <laughs> Did you even worry about me? <laughs> Let us ignore him, okay? I was sure okay. as I did. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I was asleep. Where the entire time? <laughs> well, I, I took the first watch and then I dozed off, and I, you know, I just thought you'd, you'd sort all of these things out while I was having a nap. <laughs> you just been asleep. 
Yeah. I no. I, I just, honestly, we thought you'd like fall in a lake or something, and just. Mm. I did have so... to help a bird. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. With. With, Numpty back with the party, you guys uh uh. Start. Everyone starts loading up uh supplies into. A, a small a small vessel that uh that the royal family kind of like keeps on hand it's not extravagant like the warships that uh that um your uh, your father commands ferret um this is more of a small personal vessel uh he or like, he never really Though he never really skimped on anything either, so this is a very nice, fancy ship. Got its own captain, its small little Ooh. crew. So, and uh, the captain uh, comes over, straight and straightens straightens himself out and goes, "Ah, Lady Ferret, the pleasure. You taking the vessel out today? Uh, uh, today? Yes, 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 we are." Uh... Is 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 she ready? Oh, absolutely, she's always ready for the royal family. Perfect. Then, uh, yes. then, then we shall board straight away. So, very well. I'll have my, I'll have the crew help you with all the uh, belongings from your wagon. Uh, I'm assuming everyone here is coming along with you. Uh, Gosha speaks up. He goes, "No, this is where I say farewell. I will be taking the wagon back to Chaosity." The captain gives him a slight nod. He goes, very well. Uh, he turns to you, Ferret, and goes, so what will be our destination? I'm... It's a good question. I'm more than happy to take you wherever need be. That is a good question. I'll be honest, I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, Gosha looks... Uh, Gosha looks over. He kind of just, just shakes his head and goes... The princess is trying to get as close to the royal capital of the of the of the divine kingdom of wrath. As that was it. Yes. Sorry. The kingdom of wrath. She's trying to get as close to the capital as possible because she's supposed to do diplomatic negotiations for trade. He goes. The captain goes. Ah. Uh, leave it to me then. I think the closest port city. Is Tosco over on the east side of the isle of the continent? From there, it's a few days travel, but it... we could do that. I like Prosco. I mean, we could travel up river if we were to go all the way around. It'd be slightly quicker, but lo a little bit more dangerous for the crew. How dangerous are we talking? Uh. The river's not like up until a certain point the river's fine, but beyond that it's a bit Um the best way to becomes can... narrow in certain places. Can Numpty do a check to see if he knows to what river he's talking about? <laughs> um Uh yeah, give me a Give me a nature check. Ooh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not not so no. one. <laughs> not one bit. He just rapples something <laughs> incoherently. A Prosco has good noodles. Uh, pro uh, so I will. Uh, and the captain Oops. looks at you and goes, It's your decision. Uh. To whichever route we take, it Dude, would. Oh. <laughs> um, you know what? I feel like we'll go with the uh the, the safer the safer destination. No need to uh put anyone in harm's way today. All right, to Prosco it is. Um, are you sure, Bread? Because you have a business to run, right? Well, I mean, I've never been there, and I've I've always wanted to um. To, uh, to to explore and, and see um 
you know, see see if I can find any uh, any interesting concepts and and uh, contraptions in places. So, I mean, if it won't, it's not too much of a of a decoy, is a uh, detour, is it? We could, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, go uh, Gosha speaks up and goes. I don't think it was that much of a detour. I think that was the original plan uh, from your from your highness, because you know him. Always the safest option for his uh, for his daughter. Of course. So, and when I said when he said a week, I think that was the route he planned. Okay, then that is the route we shall go. All right. So he goes. All right, with route in mind, I think this is where we part ways. Um, Gosha. Hey, uh, Numpty approaches Gosha and takes out a bottle of like the water he got earlier. It's like, give this to Chad if he's thirsty. <laughs> the, the horse, correct? Yes. Chad. Very well. I will. I, I would give Chad the water. He uh, he grabs the water and kind of like puts it in his bag for the t- time being. He goes, very well, farewell. Have a safe trip, Lady Ferret. Please come back safe. Thank you, Gosha. I I I will try. Um and not at Gosha. That's suspicious. Shape, 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 shape. Um with uh <laughs> with with all said and done, without further delay, you guys start to sail off into the distance with uh with the deport city of Chalks at your backs, the soft sea breeze uh, hit, uh, on your faces, you guys set off. Nothing too interesting happens. How are the seas? Seas? Uh, let's take let's take a gander. Does Dumpty know any seas? That she <laughs> sea shanties. <laughs> beautiful 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 um uh, um the seas are a little choppy here and there but nothing too harsh on uh nothing too harsh for the crew and for the party at hand um <sighs> With that in mind, well, let's continue on a little bit. Um, you guys are traveling along the outside of the island. You guys can definitely see, like, eventually the uh, the coast of uh the Kingdom of Wrath is visible, and you guys don't really dock anywhere. It's just beautiful um like sandy beaches and tree lines you guys see a mount like like in the distance though as you keep going along the outside of uh around the cape uh you guys um uh see beautiful mountains uh, mm-hmm. in the distance as well. And towards as you get closer to Prosco, you see a lot more ships about. None of them kind of like strike you as um, odd, but it does seem a little bit busy here. Uh... As you guys keep going, it the <laughs> the port city becomes in the new the next port city of the port city of Prosco becomes into view. Seagulls start chirping, and um, the captain starts giving out orders and commands. Uh. 
to prepare everyone to dock and unload whatever the cargo is uh, um, that that you have brought that, that the party has brought along as um, you do so uh, or as the ship slowly comes into port you guys see a like a very well dressed individual with a few uh maybe like with about two guards with him kind of like it looks like like a guarded escort um uh he as the port uh, as the ship docks and everything starts to get unloaded he uh waves to you ferret he uh gives you a signal to come over and talk to him all right then i uh, i i'll i'll happily i'll happily go talk to the to, talk to the guy okay um what is everyone else doing as well uh Good question yeah, i just I, follow I, there to to the conversation have we moved far away from the the boat at this point? Uh, no, not too far. They're pretty much right on the dock. Uh, I'm probably talking to the captain at great length about um, possible engineering improvements to improve the stability of the ship. I say talking to, talking at. He appears to have <laughs> tuned out. And, no, no, um, he's he's fairly interested in it. In, oh. He takes very good pride in the ship that he gets to run. He this is a royal ship, so any improvements to the royal ship to make it either a better, to basically make it better for the royal family, he will very much gladly listen in. Wow, that no. doesn't happen in real life. Um, okay, <laughs> he, so yeah, I, nod, I, I talk tech and engineering with him. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't necessarily understand any of it because he's not very <laughs> knowledgeable in the field, but he's definitely listening. He's humoring you. Numpty's yes. probably just um, doing hand wave gestures, trying to mimic the captain, telling everyone to get their shit together. But he's just like saying the same shit to himself. <laughs> um, that's that's it. Okay. <laughs> so, as all that goes, wait, where's Barris? Um, I follow you. Yeah, oh. Barris is Barris follows up with you. Okay. Um. He, uh, this gentleman, he looks at you and goes, ah, I saw the flag from uh, entering port, and I was very excited to meet you. I am the no uh, I am one of the many nobles here, and frankly, mayor, if you would, of the city of Prosco. I very want to, hum I want to formally, uh, in uh, uh, welcome you to uh our our city and oh and introduce myself uh my name is uh colin i very much wish to uh thank you for visiting and coming through we were expecting you uh uh through uh to come through at some point uh Though we didn't know really when. So we kind of just waited. Ah, well, um, ni nice nice to meet you, sir. Uh, thank you for the, uh, the the wonderful welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if... It, I, I know you're on a mission from His Highness, but I would very much like to give you a tour of the city, if you have the time. Yes, of course. I, uh, I, we, we certainly can spare the time. He goes. Um, he looks at you, and his eyes like widen with like, uh, like excitement because, like, he, 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 you don't need an insight to check to know this guy is really, really hoping that he wants to make a very good impression on the princess because ah. if the princess says good things. The city prospers. Um, 
I see. Yes. Um, I was happy to help out. <laughs> yes. So, uh, he... Uh, he simply goes, So, a uh, quick question. Are you going to be staying here for, for the day? I, it's, I know it's roughly noon. She looks up at the... Trying to get a glance at the sun to kind of figure out what time it is. Um, hey, Ferret, I do think that's a good idea. The entire party is pretty tired, I imagine, from the boat ride. I'd suggest we take it easy for today. Yeah, I was thinking it'd be nice to have a, a proper bed for a night. Yes. Yes, also, I have nudes. Perhaps we can find somewhere for a meal. Um, I've, I've, Dumpty has told us that they have good nudes here. <laughs> oh, I see you two noodles. are a man of fair our culture. Noodles. Yes, our noodles. Wait, I thought that nudes was like the the local lingo for that dish. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. It's, some people call it that, but we just simply call it noodles. Um, we have very, very good uh, chefs uh, at one of the uh, establishments. It's a small, uh, not necessarily, a, it's an inn. We, uh, we have a small inn in town. Very, very uh, high-end, if you would. And he kind of looks over at uh, you, Numpty, and, and kind of like gives you a glance. Like, Because everyone's kind of <laughs> dressed up for the most part. Um, but... Except you, Numpty, you, you, you're you kind of dressed up in your normal rags and stuff like that. You don't really dress up for anything. Um, he goes, he looks up at you, Numpty, and goes, Um, though I believe the older gentleman would have to change attire for... Whatever for. Where I come from, this is the highest of fashion. The squirrels told me. <laughs> da, da, ignore him. It's fine. It's fine. We can we can spare the I funds mean, to get him some some nice clothes. I'm sure. I, mean, I can very much get him. We could also clothes. just leave him on the ship. Yeah, that too. I mean, if he I does, do if he does wish to come to uh, to to the inn and enjoy the cuisine, we have uh, sets of clothes for anyone that needs them. So you, no no money at uh, uh uh no no coins spent on your behalf. Um oh, well that, though, that that's fair enough. Well seems like a nice kinda, life. He he looks over at you, Barris, he kinda uh, looks at you and goes, I can't really give you clothes either, sir. Um, I can't really wear any clothes, so I, I that's know. fine with me. You, you'd probably be the exception, given uh, your predicament. I don't think I will be joining you for the meal anyway, so... Oh, that's right. I'm terribly sorry. I, uh, uh, ghosts don't... Uh, phantasms don't really need to eat. My apologies. Um, I I I am in no disrespect. Uh, and he go. Uh, he kind of like looks at everyone. He goes, "If you wish, I can lead you guys to the uh, the living quarters of said inn at the very least." Of course. Uh, lead the way. Lead the way. Um. So, very nervously, he. Get, uh, he uh, gives a slight bow to you, uh, uh, Ferret, and him and the two guards uh, turn and they start walking uh, throughout the streets. He's um, as he as he does so, he's pointing out various attractions, various shops, um, giving praise to certain ones, but each and every individual recognizes royal attire uh, from a mile away. And everyone kind of like uh, every shopkeeper in every way, shape, or form is trying to get your attention to try their uh, try out their products or try to ta have you come take a look at them. Um, but nothing really catches your eye. Parrot, is your life always like this? Uh, yeah. Is yours not? <laughs> Well, 
we've come from very different backgrounds. Like this seems insane. How much? So much privilege. It's crazy. I mean, it's what happens when you're a princess, I guess. I didn't ask for it, but I don't mind it. Hmm. Just yeah. keep in mind that that is not the case for for everyone. Oh. Yes. Uh. With all, with all, with all said, and uh, with a little, a little bit of uh banter, uh, and a little more kind of like uh, showboating from the mayor, kind of just not really like not necessarily showboating, but kind of like a lot of praise to certain shops to try and get your attention to maybe go there later. Completely up to you. Um. You guys reached the inn. It's a very beautiful establishment. Very, very high end. Um, you guys uh, enter. Uh, the mayor enters after after you guys. Um, uh, the lady I, at the front desk. Oh, go on. I can't clarify. Like, did they really just leave Dumpty at the boat? Or... Well, that's up to Dum that's up to Numpty. Did you decide <laughs> to follow, or Cause this is just the living quarters? They didn't they didn't go to the uh, essentially the restaurant attached. Hmm. Uh, they he the uh, the mayor did uh, insinuate that he would be bringing all of you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because I think I have a solution to the whole uh, attire problem. This is going to involve nudity. Oh god, oh, let me no. turn you away. You don't like my clothes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, are are you with the party, Numpty? I would say so. But okay. um, I I would offer up to um, turn into a uh, a wolf <laughs> or something to <laughs> you know use my wild shape to act like uh, the princess's pet or something. <laughs> ah, you see your place, I see. <laughs> wow. Just um, because Numpty does not want to put on any fancy clothes or get kicked out of anywhere again. Um, so, yeah. Um, Can I do that? Uh... Do you, do, you out, out, do, you, do you suggest this plan to the entire party in front of everyone? Um, I suppose he'll go to Princess Fair directly and be like, uh, uh, Princess Lady. Uh, yes, Numpty? I have a plan. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be great. Yes, go on. Even though the, the society doesn't like my latest fashion, um, why should if I turn into something a bit more suitable for princesses? Uh, what did you have in mind? Um, I don't know. I could be a a squirrel. Uh, the define suitable. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think what, a squirrel. Why would you would like do... to have as a pet? You like you like critters and stuff, right? Uh, not particularly. Wow. The, um... Do you like do you like critters compared to this? And he gestures at himself. Uh, okay, you know what? That's fair. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, how about perhaps, a little, uh... little? How about a little bird? <laughs> okay, a cute little bird to rest on your shoulder. Okay, you know what? Yeah, how can 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 you be a a, a dove? <laughs> a dove? I I think I can. Uh, I'll okay. look it up later Duck. for a future reference. But um, no, I'll go a dove. Um, <laughs> he just shouts in the middle of the street, "Shazam!" and puffs into a dove. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is that okay, plan, though? Plan, plan sorted. <laughs> I try to hold myself together for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so with 
Is this no, a, uh, a dove-sized dove or a numpty-sized dove? <laughs> We're just all stuck there with like... For, for, for rules, I believe it's going to have to be a dove-sized dove. Oh, I love the idea of going out for a meal with a person-sized dove sat at the table pecking away. Uh, trust me, I, I would love to, but if, I believe Wild Shape specifically states like with how the size and the difficulty is... Of Very the, uh, limited thing. crit rating. Yes. Uh, well, not crit rating. Uh, challenge rating. Challenge rating. Thank yes. you. Yes. So I believe a normal sized dove falls within acceptable levels. Um, that being said, so with Dumpty now a very small dove um, flying around you, ferret, uh, occasionally landing on your shoulder to rest. <laughs> Um, everyone is then escorted to individual rooms. Uh, uh, kind of looks at uh, the mayor, kind of looks at you, Barris, and goes, I mean, you, you have your own room if you so wish to use it, though I don't imagine you need to sleep or have anything of that matter. Have you have we seen any uh, bookstores or, or magic shops on the way there? Give me a perception check. Uh, that damn. Oh wow. Um, I yeah, there were several sh uh, shops selling magical items. Uh, some places that have uh, that were selling books, though you can't really, you don't really know if those books were um, magical tomes or uh, uh, or any or anything of that nature. You you, you do you did see some shops, though. I, I don't really care. Uh, I don't like the company, anyways, because that um, nobleman we are walking around with is annoying me. I don't like an ask kisser. So I take my <laughs> leave without saying any words. So Barris, you disappear uh uh without basically without a trace, as ghost things do. Um what is everyone else doing? So we have Numpty being a uh, a dove, uh, Barris out uh, looking for bookstores and magical shops. What is everyone else doing for the night as they prepare for probably what I would guess a a dinner at a fancy uh, fancy restaurant? Uh, how much time do we have before the meal? Um, a few hours, enough for a. Uh, Enough for a rest. Um, if you so wish to have it. Con considering that um, Numpty can only hold this for him for one hour for a short rest. Well, he can do it twice and hold it for one hour for a short rest. So uh, I think he'll use this time wisely and hang out in the near vicinity with um, the pigeons and try get some local gossip. <laughs> the local gossip? Yeah. Uh... The pigeons love gossip. Give um investigation. Uh yeah, Animal give me handling. No, give me give me some investigation. Um what? Oh, 17. Um you you come up on um so you're you're out on your own. You come up on a uh, a group of pigeons in the area, kind of just like, kind of just waiting for people, kind of just to drop food around the market square. Uh, uh, and you kind of like hear them droning on about um, weird happenings out in the capital. A lot of uh uh. Uh, information regarding 
um, or uh, you you hear you hear one pitch and you just kind of just like kind of overhear him uh, talk. It's like, yeah, I uh, one of my one of my relatives down in the capital kind of just overheard something about the royal family uh, getting visits uh, from several people. <laughs> From one of the na- other neighboring kingdoms, uh, something about magic and trade and a lot of different other things. It's hard to—I don't know too much about this stuff. I'm just—I'm just here for food. <laughs> He's just like boring, and then he says food. Like, yeah, yeah, talk about food. Any good food spots? Um, <laughs> are the noodles still good? Oh, the noodles are the best, I swear. Okay, do you get the ones with the nice little grated cheese on them? Mm. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> uh, you're just, just salivating down onto the streets from above. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna... So, as as you go out and get, like, get, those, uh, get this information, you kind of, like... Um... It, it went from the conversation of uh, the royal family getting a lot of different visitors to um, talking about food. I mean, an hour uh, flies by and almost uh, um, for you, an hour flies by like it was nothing. Um, do you head back to the party and get ready with the rest of them? or? Um, uh I won't get ready, but I'll head back to the party, yeah. Okay. Get situated uh, in my actual room. Yeah. I assume there's an actual room. Yeah, you have your own room. Uh... <laughs> no, you just got a bird cage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to keep the, the window wide open and invite the pigeons back with me. Like... <laughs> Either the you pigeons... a place you can crash. <laughs> like by morning the, the room's gonna be covered in shit but oh, yeah. oh, oh no, God, no. Oh, the no, mayor no. guy's gonna be so angry with this us uh, well oh, no. um pigeons are like more than happy like oh yeah man absolutely if you feed us we'll, we'll hang out plenty of time uh, you feed yourselves but bring it back and share <laughs> oh, I drive a hard bargain Fair enough. Uh, they kind of just like fly off uh, into the distance, kind of just uh, uh, and kind of like, toss to collect what you assume is a bunch of food. Um, uh, oh, nice. I'll immediately forget like two minutes after getting back to the hotel. <laughs> or, yeah. You forget about the, the pigeons or uh, the party? The whole going for food thing. Like with the pigeons. Oh yeah, um, I will leave the door, the window open for him. Yeah. Um. So, ferret, bread, and crow. What are you guys doing to get ready for this lovely? I did want to do something. Well, what is that, sir? Ooh. I knock on ferret's door. Ooh. I'm not in there. I have music for this song. <laughs> Wait, do you you got out there? What did you say? I said I'm not in there. Oh, what? Oh, so I open the door. <laughs> yeah, you open the door. Ex- excuse there's... me, can I just walk in my room. <laughs> yep. What? Is there no then, locks on these doors? What, what do I, I see? Mean, oh well, hold on. So, like, there are locks on the doors. So, well, did you, did you lock the door on the way out? Yeah, of All course. Right. I mean, Crow, uh, you can pick the lock if you wish to try. Do it. Mm. <laughs> Are you a rogue or not? I am a rogue, aren't I? <laughs> I'm trying to be responsible here. Are you no. responsible? No. Then don't I, break I just, the lock. Like a I responsible just uh, rogue. rest in my room and hear, like, listen in for uh, potentially door openings next to my room and stuff like that. Yes, all right. To wait for until she comes back. So... Ferret, since you're not in your room, where are you? Uh, it's sort of like a, a sort of bar area in the tavern area in this uh, this hotel place. Yes. And what are you what are you doing What are you doing in the uh, tavern area? Uh, I um, 
trying out the the local drinks. It's uh something uh me and me and Ro always uh tend to do. Uh, I haven't brought Ro with me on this uh journey, but uh. You know, it's, it'd be good to, to try uh, local drinks and uh, report report back to him. I, but, I uh, feel like I would also have headed to the bar, basically. <laughs> and maybe I'm sat in the corner just having a, a tankard of ale or something. Mm. Um, how much are you deciding to drink, Ferret? Uh, not much. Just a, just a few sips. Like, like wine tasting. <laughs> wine tasting. Well, uh... The bartender kind of just like give he gives you a slight nod. He goes, "I understand." Well, you uh, you you ask for a different uh, various uh, local uh, uh, beverages that usually either come around in, in around this king around. I'm uh, oh, sorry, local beverages native to the kingdom or maybe specifically the city itself, um, but. And he gives you a slight nod. He goes, "You still got to pay, though. You may be the princess, but uh, mayor didn't cover everything." Oh yes, that's fine. Don't um, worry. I'll give you a nice tip. Much appreciated. And he gets he gets Wink. you a bunch of <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> Rick's sake. Um, he uh, he gets everything set up. He gets like five different uh different brews of the local area um and as you go to as you try them all you uh, go to go to start drinking your first one he like he's like he's like hold up now be careful some of these are stronger than others oh dear <laughs> oh, I, uh, don't worry um he go uh he uh he motions from literally left to right. He goes, he goes, from for left to right we have a local, uh, local ale that we brew directly in house. We have Ooh. a elven alchemist who makes us a batch of uh special elven wine very fruity in its nature he gives us uh some to sell on his behalf uh we have a very strong what we call the dragon's ale mm -hmm. um then we, uh from there we got a uh a mix a mixed drink we call the spider's tonic and then finally um the last one is a another uh not out of how not an in-house brew but a brew straight straight from the capital oh they all sound very delicious uh i'll just uh try some uh while i'm while i'm trying them uh can i sort of get get talking with him and um Sort of, you know, just just general chatting, you know, asking asking him about, uh, you know, sort of the business and all this, and then uh, can I uh, just drop in? Uh, I suppose you've uh, seen a, a sort of young young lady uh, wandering through it all. Um, dark hair, purple eyes. Uh, looks a uh, looks a little perhaps uh, like royalty. Um, let's see if he remembers. Oh. Um, he kind of ponders for a moment thinking back he goes I mean we've had a lot of uh, guests around here you don't see too much royalty I mean you get some really really well dressed individuals you got a time frame in mind I might be able to try and remember back that far, maybe. Uh, no, it was just a just a general mm. general question, really. Uh, not not too important. Don't don't worry he, about it. He he kind of he like tilts his head back, looking up at the ceiling a little bit, kind of like like a very obvious face of just trying to remember 
as much as he can. He just he goes, I mean, there's been a number of fair ladies that come and come through. A lot of them well dressed. When uh, whether they be nobles or royalty, I couldn't really say. Uh, only a handful with dark hair. Um, though there was one, she didn't really stay long. She simply kept walked in, asked for information, and just left. I even offered her a drink. I see. Very rude, if I say so myself. By the way, uh, she came in, simply asked for directions to the capital, and then left. I see. Thank you. Thank you for your information. Uh, this is this is a uh, lovely uh, lovely wine, by the way. This album one. It's it's very delicious. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, if you if you want, we still have a bottle. If you wish to take one with you, but uh, that's a, I don't mean to push uh, my product on you. I'm sure you've gotten enough of that on the way here. Oh but, no, uh, no, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a bottle. Uh, well, he goes, you never uh, know. Uh, very, uh, very well. It's a, uh, it's going to be a, a singular gold piece. It's a very, very fine wine. Um, I'll let you sort through that in your own, uh, in your uh, own inventory. Um. Or I'll help you later uh, if you don't get it. <laughs> you can help um, me later. <laughs> you're, you're fine. Um, with that, uh, uh, how long do you usually? How long do you stay at the bar? Uh, I uh, sort of take a take a few sips from uh, from each of the drink, and uh, I, I spot I spot bread. And go over and have a have a little chat with with bread. Okay. Uh, before. Um, Perhaps heading back. Okay. Um. So. You chat. You chat with Bre uh with with Brad a little bit. Uh, you two chat for a while. Um. But how long? You said you're going back to uh, you go back. You guys go back to your room. Or Brad, are you staying down in the uh? Um, bar? I might uh, wander up to the bar and ask for another pint of Dragon. I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so I'm gonna hang around a little bit longer. Okay. So uh, sorry, you go you go upstairs. Back yes, to, okay. I politely excuse myself while he's waffling on about something I don't quite understand. Yeah, at, at this point, <laughs> I think I, I've started talking to the barkeeper about um, maybe a potential way that they could um, sort of line their their pumps to to keep the the beer cooler. Um, and I get his <laughs> eyes have perhaps glossed over slightly. Yeah, he. He simply like for for or he looks so like kind of like looks at you, kind of just gives you a nod. He's not like he, you can't really tell, but he's not listening all that much. He's kind of like tuning in, tuning out, tuning in, tuning out. As long as you he's kind of basically tuning in, seeing if you're ordering more drink, tuning out, tuning back in, seeing if you're ordering a drink, tuning out, and so rinse repeat. Um, uh. Uh, but, uh, fair. You start heading back to your uh, back to your room and stuff like that. Uh, Crow, you do he you hear Ferret's footsteps as uh, she approaches uh, out the, uh, basically outside your door across the hall from you. Oh, waits until she enters her room. All right. And then again, knock on the door. Uh, who who Hello? is it? It's me. Um, Who's me? <laughs> anonymous boy. <laughs> cool. Uh, you can come in if you tell me your name. All right. Um, like I said before, I really, truly do not have a name. Um, but people sometimes call me Crow. So I All guess right. you can call me that. That'll do. Come on in, Crow. Hi. Um, I'll keep it short. There's something I want to tell you about the day. We've been traveling for a while, and I noticed something. All right. Being you actually sounds exhausting. I thought I was jealous of how your life was and how easy it sounded, but didn't seem to be that way. Sorry, I was rude about it. I would I would say that I definitely don't want to swap. Would never want to swap with you. But yeah, that's I I just wanted to say that, and I'll leave you 
to rest a bit more if you so desire. Oh, uh, that that. Thank you for coming to apologize. I guess. Uh, not the kind of behavior I expected from you. I'll be honest. Yeah, I was a uh, a bit wary earlier too, but yeah, everybody seems kind of okay and trustworthy here. Okay. I have some trust issues myself, so. Okay. Fair uh, enough. With that, um, out of the way, a little, 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 little side story, uh, like still sky sides get there, uh, for everyone, uh, before our the main attraction, all this fancy dinner. So, who's all going to this fancy dinner? It was everyone to but enjoy Barris. Some nudes. Right. Barris, and Numpty, you're going as a, oh, it's... A, 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 not a pigeon, a, a, a dove. A dove, yeah. And to be um, fair, I, I'll be getting a short rest in before. Yes, so that you, you I... do get your short rest in. Um, so, Numpty, you are you you are now a pigeon. Uh, you're s sitting up on a uh, ferret's shoulder. Uh, you guys start to approach, uh, um, uh, uh, sorry, y y you guys approach the, uh, the, the main door for the, for the restaurant, and, um, the the mayor is standing there waiting for you. He kind of looks around, looks at the pigeon, looks at the pigeon, kind of just like shakes his head and just like kind of looks at you close. It looks at you, numpty a little bit closer. And he kind of just like, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Um, he goes, please, we have a table waiting just for you guys. Um, he opens the door and it's not really busy. You. would as you would imagine, like a fancy restaurant, there's very, very few people. Mu very light music is being played. Um, everyone like s like softly chatting amongst themselves. Um, uh, you guys are then seated at a small table. Um, it looked like it was set up for five people, but it the fact uh, and then there doesn't seem to be anyone else uh, there. So they kind of they really kind of clear off some uh, some space to make more room and stuff like that. Um, the knights, uh, I'm assuming everyone's ordering a very a very a very a variation of some sort of like noodle dish. Yeah, well, he had to try the nudes. <laughs> Yes. So, all of you uh, order some. Does that uh, mean Numpty doesn't have a space at the table anymore? Well, I mean, technically, there's no silverware for you. Doesn't mean you can't hop down and start nibbling at some nudes. Yeah. yeah um, okay. Uh, um, I'll, I'll take a place on the table where they could push my nudes. Yeah. Um. Um. But, um, as you guys, uh, um, do so, um, very, like, so, yeah, very night, uh, uh, very light music is being played. Some violins here, different pieces there, guitar here, various, like, various different things are being played. It's a relatively nice evening uh ferret give me a perception check uh okay boom will this suffice that's perfectly fine um with 16 perception you are getting some various different looks like everyone's being respectful everyone kind of like looks over their shoulder looks at you and just gives a slight nod like they some people, almost as if they expected you to show up here. Um, 
Um, then a a well dressed young lady with very fair skin and light hair. She um go, uh, l um comes over to you and she uh softly places her hand on your shoulder and goes uh, Lady Ferret, correct? Uh, yes, hello. Uh sorry, I have a a a package for you. I was told to give it to you on your visit here. I was told to expect you to be here at this uh establishment at some point. Oh. Um uh okay. Uh who who told you this? I it, I don't know. Some young man gave me a uh, direction. He paid me well as basically to be a delivery uh, a person to be of delivery. It was it's a small job. I don't think anything didn't think anything of it. Uh, can you describe the the man for us real quick? Uh, let's see. Um, if you remember, anyway. Let's see. Let's see if she remembers, because it has been a while. She goes. Um. They didn't really see his face too much, um, but he was a very he was a very young man. Uh, Dark hair, uh, almost raven black, if it were. I, I'm sorry, I don't really know too much. Oh, I, that, that's my okay. My apologies. That, that's all right. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll take the the package. Yeah. Um, it, she hands you a very small package. It's about, um. A little bit larger than your fist. Um, about maybe... If you, if I were to give it exact exact dimensions, it would be about maybe... Wait. No, you guys go by meters, don't you? Um, well. We, we can do inches and translate. So. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... It's... Um... <laughs> about eight centimeters in length and width and about uh five to six uh six centimeters in height so it's a very small flat square box um seems kind of sus doesn't it it does um, uh... The, uh the lady goes i i apologize if i'm interrupting your meal i just I promised, and I got paid to deliver this. So, uh, again, I, I I'm very very sorry. Uh, it, it's okay. Don't don't worry about it. Don't don't yeah, worry about it at all. Your... Uh, thank you for for delivering yeah. this package. Uh... Yeah. Um, uh, not not a problem. Uh, thank you, and thank you for coming to our city. You're as ever you're as ever beautiful as ever as everyone says you are. Oh, Please en enjoy the rest of your meal. I we, we will enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Uh, and she kind of like she walks off. She sits back down at her table and like, fin like finishes like starts to finish her meal up and whatnot. Um, do huh. you open the package? Uh, I. Kind of wish Numpty wasn't a dove right now because I just hand it to him and tell him to open it. <laughs> and if you put the box on the table, <laughs> Numpty will go and peck at it. I, okay. Hey, Numpty, did you, did you fancy? Uh, wait. I mean, uh, d pet, pet dove. Uh, do you? Uh, did, you, did you fancy like pecking this open for me? <laughs> um, for the first few goes, he just smashes his head off of it, <laughs> is with, <laughs> not using the beak, but then. Um, um, he adjusts and is like, <laughs> just kind of does that weird pigeon thing with their neck where it turns all the way around. But yeah, oh. um, give me, you know what? 
Give me a... I would imagine this is very, fairly difficult for a pigeon to do. Give me a dexterity check. Dexterity. It's a flat dexterity check. I would have loved if that was an at 20. It would have been great. <laughs> um, but you, we got lucky you, number you, 13. You, yeah, you're fine. Oh, uh, you, you get it open, not without a lot of, like, trouble. You kind of, like, you peck at one end and kind of, like, start peeling, uh, like various like paper off one side and kind of like look at it and just kind of like cock your head side to side fly over to the other side start pecking at that side and eventually it's, it's a process but you get it open um uh <laughs> can you just say like how he eventually gets it open in a little bit is by just uh using his wing to kind of push it off the the table just kind of give it a backhand like <laughs> i give up <laughs> yes um, uh, though you revealed enough of it to s show that it seems to be some sort of jewelry box. Hmm. Interesting. Why would anyone be you sending have no idea jewelry? where this could come from? Uh, not particularly. If, uh, if you want to try and, uh, remember and see if you remember anyone that maybe even remotely fits the description of the gentleman the lady uh, described you can give me a history check uh, sure why not let's do that Ooh. okay <laughs> Ooh. Fucking you I assume I remember <laughs> potentially um, potentially um Rolling good here today. <laughs> <laughs> he says like he wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, kind of. Um. Anyway. Um. Let's see. Oh my god! Dive into my information box here. It's called my brain. Oh, I have this set up. Um. You don't really like there is some vague information. You can definitely put a few pieces here together, but they don't make sense. Huh. You know several people that kind of fit that description, but none of them would ever be inflatulated with you or owe you anything in the sense of they would just randomly give you or send you a piece of jewelry um like from the size of the box you can roughly assume that it's some sort of maybe necklace or amulet but without opening the box you don't really you can't really tell what it is or you don't really know what it is um I guess there's only one way to what? find out if there's anything in there. <laughs> huh? We, we open it. We open it? Inside, you see a silver uh, necklace with a deep purple amethyst uh, embedded in as, as a charm or as a part of like uh a, 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 like an amulet piece but though it's not very large it's fairly small it's like about a centimeter in size maybe even smaller um hmm. it it looks like the necklace itself looks fairly expensive uh you see a little note tucked away in like the folds of the velvet that is holding it um uh like underneath oh 
All right. Upon, I'll uh, read, go on. read the note. You pull open this note. It's not like a big old letter. It's a small little note. Mm-hmm. And it says a gift for posterity. Okay. There's and that's all the note says. Do you have any clue what that could mean, Jared? No, I don't actually. As someone who tinkers around with um with arcane things, I mean do I notice anything sort of unusual about this? Is this maybe, you know, like a, a kind of stone that I've seen before or something? Uh like so, I mean, it's 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 an amethyst. You've seen you've seen amethyst before. Um, do, do do I notice anything out of the ordinary with it? Is are you I'm looking saying, for? Are you? I guess are you trying to see if it's it's magical? Um, I'm always trying to find out how things work. So I'm I'm kind of looking at it, thinking, yeah, is this is this a magical thing? That just... Give me an arcana check if you are looking to see if it uh, has magic. If you're looking for anything other than magical, give me an investigation check. I'll leave it up to you. You pick one or the other. I feel like I would probably default to the most complex thing here, which I (laughs) think would be assuming, ooh, I wonder if there's anything magical about this. Whereas a normal person would probably just think, oh, like that's a nice necklace or um, you okay. know, a piece of jewelry. So yeah, so give me a give me an arcana check then. Okay. Nope. Uh, you nope. inspect it. Um, mm, excuse me. You inspect it in kind of like a not a really a hasty manner, but you kind of you you look at it and get no indication. That this is magical. Cool. Good job. <laughs> well, <laughs> I tried. Yep. <laughs> you did try. I. Huh. This is ever so strange. Um. I I guess I'll uh sort of happily uh take the gift. Okay. And uh, I just, I don't know, stuff it in my pocket. Yeah. Right. You, you, you stuff uh, this, this, this necklace into into your uh, your pocket, and uh, you discard. I'm guessing you discard the box and everything as well. Yeah, Numpty can keep pecking at it. He seems very interested in it. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna try um, while that was happening. I kind of wanted to do this. And just say that's for the noodles. You scarf those noodles like it was nothing. <laughs> just deep throating noodles while you were trying to figure out an amethyst. Uh, my eyes kind of spark a little bit, but I try to contain myself. <laughs> Fuck, that was a good roll, and I wasted it on a fucking <laughs> <laughs> on scarfing <laughs> noodles. Uh, you wasted it on deep throating noodles. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I feel like my, <laughs> my observational skills were distracted by just seeing a dog um, just shoveling this, noodles this, down his this, throat. Like you've just never heard, head back and they you've just never heard a dove slurp noodles because you didn't think they had lips, but somehow today you witnessed a dove slurp noodles. Can, can we just hear what that sounds like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> you you you, you, you kind of like you're listening in. You kind of it sounds like someone drives like slurping of uh of uh, noodles. Um, yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, yeah. He rushes it. There has to be some choking it down here and there. Um. <laughs> oh God! I bet that all, with, that all the other tables are looking with, at this. Oh, with, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um. Not too many are actually not too many are paying attention at all. Everyone's kind of like minding their own business. But there are some people kind of very curious about the 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 dove at the table. Not 
It's fairly unusual to have a dove at the table, one that, let alone, slurps noodles. Um, <laughs> the rest are just like, oh, there's a dove deep throat and noodles, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> We've seen you, weirder you, things. <laughs> yes. He uses one of its talents to pick up some of the tablecloth and just, like, dab its beak. <laughs> Very sophisticated dove. Um... <laughs> All right, so while everyone's doing that, we're going to go over to you, Barris, since you're off on your own. Ooh. Where uh, where would you be at this current moment? Well, that depends. Uh, did I find any... Yes, you found, you found several sh uh, shops, some selling magical items, some selling uh, uh, books... You may have found um, there may be like one or two stores that sell maybe magical scrolls. Let's start with scrolls. Okay. Um. All right. You are in the shop with some magical scrolls. The shopkeeper kind of like very like was very very like hesitant for a second. You um though after introducing yourself, uh, it was very like oh okay well. As long as business can be done, business can be done. Um, what are you looking for in said uh, well, uh, scroll shop? Well, anything magical, anything. Let's start with spells, but if there are aren't any, anything else that has to do with magic. Give me, um, hmm. Give me a, just a give me a perception check. Perception. Fifteen. You. A lot of the scrolls you see here are very useless. A lot of them don't. They're they're just kind of it looks like some scrolls that kind of just like some mage guy tried to ride up a bunch of these scrolls to kind of like make a quick buck and sell them. Nothing too, uh, nothing that nothing that catches your eye. Um, though. There's. A few magical items here, but nothing that a a dead man can really use, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um. 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 He, uh, the shopkeeper kind of looks at you and goes, "Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I I don't think uh I don't think um I'm able to help you." I don't really get business with, uh, the undead, really. Do you know someone that does? Uh, I mean, not in this case. Most undead are very, uh, hostile. I, um... I would recommend maybe, uh, uh, I don't really know, sir. I'd recommend maybe seeing maybe the gravekeeper. He might know a little bit more about ghostly stuff. Even still, I think that's a very, very long stretch. Hmm. I might have to try that. But first, I... Hmm. No, let's go there. Let's go see the gravekeeper. Um... You... Go to the gravekeeper. Do you... I mean, you're, you're a ghost. You can still interact with physical objects in some capacity. Do you knock on the door? Do you literally pop your head in? No, I knock on the door. I don't um, want to scare him. You knock on the door, and you see, um, and it's, it's 
roughly nighttime at this point. Um, uh, here's some rustling. A few seconds go by. Door opens with a lantern light kind of like shining on you. And the gravekeeper looks at you. There's a fairly older lady. Goes, Oh, dearie. Oh, got another lost soul. It's a shame. I'm sure I've got something to help you here somewhere. Uh, what's got you trapped on the mortal plane? Maybe I can help you move on if that's what you're looking for. It's like you see her turn around and kind of like rustle around some like medicinal herbs and um maybe trying to figure something out to maybe kind of like falsely accusing well, not necessarily falsely accusing but uh uh, she automatically jumped the like. Obviously, she she, she jumped the gun, yeah. but uh, yeah, she turns around. And she starts fiddling with a bit of like herbs and things of that nature. I wouldn't say I am trapped per se. I'm fine where I am. I don't mind mind being a ghost, but hmm. Actually, there is something I might need some help with. All right. She... Uh, she 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 stops. Uh, she stops rummaging around. She's gonna stop. She goes. You want the state of the mortal plane? Huh. Very well. What can I do you for then? What bring what brings a wandering spirit to the my home? Well, the thing is, I don't exactly know how I died, and. So, I don't exactly know where my body is. And ah. I would like to find it. Mm. Oh. Do you, do you have anything to help me with that, by any chance? Um, she go, she, she thinks for a moment. Uh, she, and let's see if she does. Uh, she looks at you, she goes... Nothing I can do here, dearie. Uh, not often do we get wandering souls who remain, who want to remain on the mortal plane. I dare say, though, um, I would be dangerous, but you could probably see maybe a priest. Maybe they'd be willing to help you try and locate your body. A lot of uh, clerics and paladins have spells dealing with the dead and helping lost souls find themselves. She says very questioningly. Uh, though you'd have to make it very clear that you're not there to hurt anyone. Most, and I'm sure you've heard it a thousand times, but most undead aren't very friendly. Well, I'm not on very good uh, terms with clerics or paladins, so that might be a problem. But thank you for your help. Uh, not a problem. Honestly, come by any time if you ever need to have someone to talk to. Talking with the dead is something that I'm very familiar with. I I leave. I go back to the inn. Right. So with that uh so with everyone back at the inn, uh we um everyone uh, so I'm assuming everyone at the at, at the uh, at the table or eating their uh, noodles and everything uh, are y'all finished up and y'all are either heading back to the inn or what is everyone wanting to do? I'm good to head back to the inn. Yeah, and for me too. Head back. So turn in for everyone's, the night. Everyone's back at the inn and uh, without 
too much happening. Uh, Ferret, as you get ready yes. to go to bed and you lay down to rest, give me a Give me a wisdom saving throw. How do I do that? On the left hand side where it says saving throws, there's a little box. Ah, there is there is indeed. This one? Yes. Now give me Fantastic. <laughs> Within moments you find yourself asleep you weren't all that tired and this seems like like you, like you weren't all that tired when you laid down but you fell asleep very very easily that sounds suspicious. <laughs> you find yourself standing about ankle deep in very, very, like, you can't really make out. It feels like just regular water, but it's dark. You can't really see anything. Huh. Okay. You hear a slight, like, splashing, as if someone's slowly walking towards you, in front of you. Huh. Um, do you do anything in particular? Uh, I call out. Who's there? Say? Who's there? You hear the movement stop. The water is still. You feel no ripples or waves. Okay. In the, uh... in the distance to your right... A small, like, as if the sun was rising. Light starts appearing over the horizon. As it does, it starts to illuminate the area around you. And the moment it does, sound, the sound around you, become, you become aware of the sounds around you. What went from still water to the rising and crashing of waves. You're still ankle deep in the water, but now ahead of you is open ocean. Nothing is in front of you. No one could be in front of you. It's open ocean. Um, Underneath your feet, you feel... The sand shift with the waves. And behind you, you hear the laughter of children. Oh. I guess I turn around. <laughs> you turn This is creepy around. laughter. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not creepy <laughs> laughter. It's the laughter of children as if they were playing. You turn around. Any child laughing is creepy in a situation <laughs> like this. <laughs> you turn around. You see yourself when you were young. Oh. With Cordelia. Oh. Playing in the playing in the sand. This is a memory from long ago. 
before everything happened, you watch as you and Cordelia play and as if you guys are playing tag, making sand castles. It feels like moments, only moments, as you watch and reminisce the stuff within your memories. As you guys, as you follow them along, watching them play, going down the shore. Cordelia starts, like, playing in the water, and starts just running down, like, the length of the shore, while you, as your younger self, get distracted by seashells and things of that nature and sounds like me it, <laughs> and before you know it your younger self like you got in just like you were as a child you got distracted you were watching yourself so intently you failed to notice that cordelia's gone <laughs> You watch as your younger self looks up and starts to cry and call out, but nothing happens. Cordelia doesn't come back. The sun, as quickly as it came within the few moments within your dream, sets, it grows dark. You, with only your own younger voice calling out for Cordelia, the ocean waves stop. It is silent. You see nothing, but you can only hear the slight cries and sobbing of your younger self. Who lost Cordelia, don't know where she went. It's such a sad dream. We flash forward within your dream to see yourself slightly older. Teens, maybe. Hard to really tell. You're in the hallways of the castle. Peeking through a doorway. You remember this memory. Oh. It's very all too vividly. Do you remember this is the first time you caught Cordelia using magic? Oh shit. That memory. You at the time, as a child, you didn't really understand. And you were always told magic was bad. Um, as you look through the doorway as your current self, standing above your slightly younger self, you can you slightly peer through, you notice something you didn't notice all those years ago. You saw wonder in Cordelia's eyes. As if she was found something amazing. Oh. Like the, the, like the magic that a child feels and the wonder of Christmas coming down from the stairs, seeing all these presents. You see Cordelia's eyes light up as a spell, a, a small spell shoots from her hand and a globe of water appears. That she con then controls and makes pretty shapes some of horses and other things in the shape of seashell and things of that nature but you don't really remember too much of this you didn't really see a lot of this when you were young you see your younger self 
gasp and kind of pant her off. And you turn and look into the room with Cordelia in it, and she heard your younger self. She very panically kind of stops using the spell, dissipates whatever's there, and put away all this magic stuff, because like, you know, like, as of now, like, right now, that she was doing something she wasn't supposed to. But, mm -hmm. at the same time, it was something that brought her joy. We then you then see a stretching of the hallway. Um, the door in front of you closes. The hallway stretches a great length. Just continues to stretch. It looks like it's going on endlessly for infinity. And hear it in, in hear a voice of of a man go. Are you happy? Are you happy? Hello, are you talking to me? I guess not. You hear the voice um, <laughs> sigh ever so slightly and go Do you think you did the right thing? Who are you? Mm. I want to answer your questions. You hear a slight chuckle. <laughs> no matter. She was happy once. She wants to be happy still. Oof. You, uh, you just here to torture me? Uh, or, uh, mm. or what? No. I simply wish to show you what you did not see. Fair enough. You've done she... that. Can I, can, I, can I go back now? <laughs> You're kind of wasting my time here. <laughs> you, hear the, you hear the voice laugh and sounds like it grows distant. He goes, she will be happy again. Oof, sinister. <laughs> she will she will be happy again. And the lights of the hallway that you in that the lights that the, the lights in the hallway that you're in grow dim and off. It becomes pure blackness in where you're standing. Great. Still with, still stuck here then. With that though, within Blackness. The last thing you is hear is Cordelia's voice. Simply say, they need to know. And Oof. the you, after hearing her voice and what she said. You wake up. It is morning. Everyone here got it. You got everyone here had a long rest. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't so feel everyone like a long rest, rest you, to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, technically, you still had a long rest. You got sleep. Um, yeah, but you just had a very, very vivid dream. Um, and 
you get uh as everyone kind of gets their ready gets their gets their self ready for the day um who's the first person downstairs and uh, numpty probably Numpty. yeah yeah all I, I sleep in well, it's probably because oh, all the pigeons woke him sleep. they're always up early <laughs> yes it's um, probably because the pigeons woke him up <laughs> probably um, I like to think like Dumpty was just sitting out, out on the windowsill, like out his window, and just playing guitar. Um, taking the pace by playing shiny happy people. Yeah. Um, he, as you hit go downstairs, um, the the mayor of the town goes, "Oh, the first up. I was just about to come and see you guys." Also, very beautiful music you play. And ah. I saw you in the window. Ah. Yes. I was I, playing uh... to my friends. Ah. They, 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 they really like the music, but they don't like that music. But he, he, he worked it out. Huh. Fair enough. Well... Bit, I'm more into Beethoven. Yeah, yes. But you haven't um... heard of him yet. Um... Not can't say I've ever have, sir. But I wish to inform your party. We've set up a wagon with all your, uh, all your other belongings um, ready to head toward the capital if uh, you guys wish to take. Uh, Where is it? Uh, it's... Uh, in... Uh, currently, the horses are in the stables. The wagon's just outside the stables on the uh, west side of town. Okay. Um, I, I shall tell the others. All right. Uh, thank you for your stay. Uh, for your stay. I uh, tell Lady Ferret that you and her and the rest of, the, of your... Uh, party are more than welcome here in uh uh in uh prosco i There's very much agree. <laughs> well your group group oh god oh oh yeah those people uh, yes <laughs> um but you should reach uh Stranto, the the capital city, uh, in about two days' time. Uh, Sounds about right. I I hope you guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed your stay. Yeah, I just had this really weird dream. I I thought that I saw like a a dove deep throating noodles, <laughs> and like I, it was so weird and random that it must have been a dream. You know what? You know what, Crow? I had the same dream. Uh, no Dumpty. way. No <laughs> way. Numpty no just deadpan stares at Crow. Hold on. Like... Wait, Ferret. I'm gonna need you to uh, uh, go ahead and give me a deception roll. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, anyone willing here can either accept that roll, or if you want, roll an insight check to see if she's lying. <laughs> First nat one of the game and seeing if Ferris is lying. I just uh, trust her, you know. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, but, um, for, so, bread, she... She's a hundred percent telling the truth. <laughs> um, cool. Sounds legit. Crow, Crow and Numpty, you look at her and she's very obviously not saying the truth. No, I was just joking around. But what the hell did you actually dream about? You seem a bit distressed. What? I d I was joking around with you. Clearly, we did see a, a dove deep threaten. Noodles yesterday. I mean, we did, but 
Like, it feels like something is off here. Yeah, I don't know lady. what you're talking about. <laughs> lady person. Yeah? Can we talk? Sure. We can talk. And, and we, we go over to a corner. <laughs> like, okay. I, I, I know you're... I could hear the half-truth there. You are dreaming. What were you dreaming of? I have dreams too. Dreams <laughs> can mean a lot. Yeah, I've been kind of on high alert ever since that glow in the in the Shh, cabin. I I think it has excuse me, we, we went off privately. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, I thought I would just kind of followed. <laughs> oh, you just you just following behind. You're like, oh, they're going off privately. Wow. <laughs> Let's go in. Well, well, I'm I'm private, just prod like... him away with his quarter staff, like. <laughs> We are ducking. Yeah. You don't want to make him angry. What do you think, Wackus Bunkus? <laughs> anyway. Um. Um. Uh, I, I was just, I was just dreaming about some old memories. It's, it's fine. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? I've seen it before. You've seen what before? Dreams have a certain significance. Mainly about past trauma. And I know all about trauma. No, I, I know I shouldn't be eavesdropping, but... <laughs> For <Frick's> sake, <laughs> oh my god, get out of here! Bro, just lurking in the fucking, like... Oh, like, by, like, he just, like, casually sits in a booth right behind you guys. Uh, I said no! And they're just like... Bonks him on the head. From the booth. Do I have my spear on me? Can I just pull uh, my spear out and point it at him? Uh, like I've, I've seen that face. That's a face of guilt, but <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to tell us now, but you, you definitely very, can. Very, very threatening. Um, I just, uh, I just like to be left alone, please. And can I just storm off? So, uh, you storm off, um... I follow her. Go for me! No, 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 he turns to Crow and go, Nice job, dickhead. <laughs> oh my god, I can't be left alone, Crow. <laughs> Look, little Numpty. Um... I feel like we need to trust each other. Otherwise, her dad wouldn't have contacted me. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> like this this clearly has some significance this sort of quest we have here <laughs> otherwise i wouldn't be here at all and i'm assuming it has something to do with that we're on a quest it's okay man just <laughs> be old and i also just kind of walk off well i need to take a shit <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at this point, I just sort of roll in, sort of um, stretching and yawning, like, oh, morning, everyone. Uh, what's good? Uh, oh, uh, okay. And uh, like, just as everyone's sort of storming off in their separate directions. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Basically. I, I, honestly, I sit here and I'd like to imagine you're coming out with a fresh pot of coffee, like with, with a coffee <laughs> mug, with some sort of contraption, like you and made the coffee under his arm. or something. Yeah, yeah, a contraption that helps you brew coffee. And you're just, just newspaper some of the under his arm. <laughs> like you know those self-stirring mugs. Yeah, the one of those. <laughs> I imagine one of those. Yeah, it says like I don't know, world's best artificer on or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow. Our world's cuddliest bear folk. <laughs> <laughs> Or, like, no, there like, has to be some sort of pun on it. Uh, no, yeah. the no, world's it's like, it's like, like, No, no, it's, uh, it, I, says, it says it says it says world's best, and underneath it, it sa instead of saying uh, dad on it, it's crossed out with like <laughs> with like some sort of like ink, and it says uh, uh, bread on it. <laughs> world's best bread. No, no, no. How about this? Unbearable in the morning. 
Yeah, I, I was going to say coffee makes my morning bearable. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, perfect. God. That is good. Um, uh, I think we can all, we all agree. Yeah, that's a good yep, one. Yep, that's the one. All right. <laughs> that is I, indeed I the perhaps one. looks slightly like I um, ended up getting another pint of dragon before bed. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I, need, I need the coffee. But no one's around to see it because everyone's stormed off. <laughs> Yeah, Nutty needs so, to shit. <laughs> <You're outside. laughs> All right. Um, Feeling a little so, constipated there, Nutty. Everyone kind of you've stormed it. off. <laughs> so, so everyone kind of like storms off on their, or everyone like kind of walks off on their own. Bear, uh, Ferris, you 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 begin to follow Ferret. Um, uh, Ferret, you're you're stopped by the the mayor. Uh, uh, as he's getting ready to leave. Um, he goes, oh, I just spoke to your old friend. Uh, he relays everything that he talked to Numpty about, how he's got uh, a, a wagon set up over on the uh, the ed end of town uh, for wh whenever you guys are ready to go. Basically um, everything Numpty didn't tell us. <laughs> I like to picture Numpty outside in the street just squatting down, taking a shake. Going, I can't help but feel I forgot something. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> um but uh but yeah no um he uh relays all that information and stuff like that uh he goes uh, when are you guys are ready to leave uh you guys just go see the uh the stable master and he will get you guys ready to go cool all right thank you uh thank you for your uh your your hospitality uh we've had a wonderful stay here he goes, it has been a pleasure having you, uh, uh, Princess Ferret. I, re I do hope that you come by again and stay uh, for maybe a longer period of time. Oh, definitely. The, the noodles last night were delicious. I will certainly be back. Uh, I will pass on your regards to the chef. Thank you. Alright. Um, with that, uh... So, do you continue to storm off, Barrett, in the direction, any particular direction? Uh, or do you, uh, or do you, or do you go back to relay that uh, what the wagon is ready to the rest of the party? Uh, no, I just go and storm off to the wagon and assume that Numpty will tell the rest of the people. <laughs> Numpty, do you happen to remember to tell everyone? Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm just already kind of sleeping in the cabin already anyway. Um... How did you get here? I know things. That's better than I thought it would be. I'm going to say yes. Alright, so yeah. So Nucky, you, you, do, you do tell, you do find Brad, you let him know. You know. For the sake of posterity, I believe you did tell, you, you ended up telling Crow, and that's where Crow ended up going. Uh, mm -hmm. Bear, um, Barris, you you followed Ferret um, yeah. to it. So everyone eventually finds their way to the wagon. Uh, the stable master, uh, without further delay, lets uh, gets everything ready for you guys, and you guys are on your way to the capital city. There are no stops along the way, or no no other towns or cities among the way. Um, you do pass, uh, by what seems to be, like, the entrance to some ruins along the way there, uh, and a lot of, like, looks like some old, like, s trees. Looks like there's a temple there as well, um... Is uh, like along the path, uh, at least facing towards the mountains, which are going to be to your right as you're traveling along the road. It uh, within two two and a half days time, you guys arrive in Stronto, a Ooh. very bustling city, uh, full of um, excuse me, a very bustling city, a lot of silk trades um or a lot of silk traders here 
various cloths and uh, fabrics uh, being sold here in Stronto. Um, Ferret, you are... So who's driving the wagon currently? As you guys pull up. That's a good question. We lost Goatman, so... <laughs> Anyone got experience not. driving wagons? I feel like Numpty. You know, Numpty yeah. is kind of... Seriously. He he does kind of know the way, and he gets along well with um, yeah. horses and yeah. animals in general. Okay. Hey, Numpty, what, are, what are these horses called? Um, It's a bit rude to ask already. I'll, I'll, I'll ask. Um... <laughs> um... He, he, he just starts like... Um, talking to the horses, and he's just like, "Yeah, how are you? Yeah, um, oh, the family is okay, cool. Um, your name? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. His name Gary. <laughs> nice. <laughs> can, you, um, can you tell Gary the horse? Can you tell oh. Gary? Uh, it's it's nice to meet him. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. He he, he corrected me. It's Gerald. No. <laughs> Where did Gary come from? <laughs> I, I misheard him. Uh, can you tell? Can you tell it Gerald? Happens. It's uh, it's nice to it's nice to be him. Oh, so Numpty, uh, Numpty is driving the wagon. Uh, the open it's an open ended wagon, so everyone else is like either riding up, uh, riding in the back, or whoever else is maybe sitting next to Numpty. It's completely up to you guys. But um, the wagon starts to pull in from the. Uh, Excuse me. It starts to pull in from the east side of the uh, of the ta of the city. You guys see a lot of um, kind of like not necessarily old, run down buildings, but kind of like low maintenance buildings. On the outside of what seems to be the castle, uh, the 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 city walls. Um, as you guys approach the city walls, you are stopped by a guard checkpoint. Uh, guard, uh, the guard like peeks his head out of the sh out of like the out of the checkpoint little like wall area and looks at, looks at Numpty, gives rolls his eyes and looks over to see who, who else is in the uh, cart. And he sees you, Ferret. He goes, he like he stands up straight real quick. And he goes, uh, and he like ducks back inside real quick. And out comes and out comes a fairly um, well armored individual. Looks like it w with a tabard, uh, uh, like over over his armor. He looks very like he looks like he's in charge. Um. He looks at Numpty, looks at you, uh, Ferret, and he goes, We've been expecting you, Lady Ferret. I believe this is your d driver. A bit Lumpy. ragged, if you must. Uh, Numpty begins to open his mouth. Oh, God, no, I, please don't. I say this giving you a chance to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 can I just, like, cover his mouth? Do I have anything in my bag to, like, shove in his mouth? <laughs> I mean, imagine you have some, like, rope and or cloth uh, available. I have something I can shove in his mouth. Oh, yeah, what's that, Crow? Gross. I don't know, actually. I forgot about it like, <laughs> instantly. <laughs> oh, well. um, <laughs> That's a shame. But let, hey, yeah, you, I'll just... You, uh, you, you, you silence Numpty in some unconventional manner. Yes. Uh, the guard... Uh, uh, head guard... <laughs> 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 looks at yeah. looks at looks going on. Looks a little, a little confused. He goes, ah, um, don't worry what? about him. Hello, it's 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 nice to meet you. Um, yeah. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Lady Ferret. I, we've uh, we've been expecting you. Um, he turns to his uh, the, some of his uh, <laughs> guards. He goes, open the gate, let the lady through. Um, if you follow down the road and. Uh, cross the main bridge to the left. You'll find yourself uh, on your way to the the castle. 
<laughs> well, the inner castle, I should say. Um, uh, so <laughs> please, uh, take your time. Take your time getting there, taking the sights. Um, but uh, yes, uh, the uh, the uh, royal fa- the 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 royal family and. The rest of the ambassadors are awaiting your arrival. Wonderful. Then I, I better get going. Yes. Um, you kind of take control <laughs> of the reins as Numpty tries to continue to speak. Um, and kind of like start to guide your horse in. And uh, you hear from behind you, as soon as you start moving, uh, the guard goes... Uh, the main head guard goes. Uh, get two men from the shack to come go with her. Make sure she finds her way just fine. Um, so uh, two guards that come out almost immediately, and uh, look at you. One of them goes, "Don't worry, lady, uh, uh, <coughs> princess. We will uh make sure you find your way uh to the uh the inner castle uh without any delay." Perfect. Um, they. Lead you through the streets. You guys take it, take it nice and slow. It's roughly busy in this on this main road, and they <laughs> you get to a turn. You cross over this fairly large bridge over the river. A lot of the architecture here, uh, taking in the sights from the city, doesn't seem that much far off from uh, what Chaosity is. A lot of stone. Like most of Chaos City is made out of marble, uh, which is very high end, but a lot of this city is made out of like various stones, like brick and mortar almost, but less neat than brick. Um, you guys cross over. You see a small like. Uh, walkway or not necessarily small i would say it's fairly long uh a walkway on the and on either side of the walkway is beautiful gardens um and fairly large like like oak trees uh you come up to the main castle gate um the guards stand at attention uh instruct the uh the uh the the uh the guard standing at the gate of what of the situation who you are what 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 you're what you've come to do they immediately stand at attention open the gate you guys proceed on in uh oh can we do we take the cloth out of Nopti's mouth now i feel like we're safely through <laughs> Whatever was gonna happen. <coughs> what thread count was that? Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, um, I don't know. As you pull, you found up, it on the ground. Um. Uh, as you pull up, uh, to the main doors to the castle, uh, which is honestly quite more like a giant manor, if you would. Very, very different. Uh. As you do so, you see a strapping, like middle-aged man and a fairly young woman at his uh, around his arm, uh, start to walk down the stairs from the uh, front or the main door. Uh, and. The wagon stops. He's at the bo- and they are at the bottom of the stairs. He goes, "Ah, Princess Ferret, it's a pleasure to honor finally meet you." Ah, oh, hello, hello, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you for for the welcome. Ah, the ah, the pleasure is mine. Please. Do I know I am, this? Do I know this guy's name? Um, <laughs> am I awkwardly he, like, ah, yes, so, this is the person that I, I don't know. Someone help so, me. Um, 
given that this man is what uh what what you would believe to be the 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 ruler of this kingdom so you believe that uh this is uh king raf of some sort uh, or something like that of of his name um but uh as you sit there and ponder that, he goes, Ah, introductions, my apologies. <laughs> this is Lady, um, this is Lady Rathen. My, I am Sir Rathen, or King Rathen, as people do refer to me as. It makes, it honestly, it makes no difference to me. Well, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I imagine your journey has been very tiring. Uh, it has. Uh, wonderful to meet you, uh, King King Grafen. Uh, uh, I... uh, he goes, <laughs> the, the pleasure is all mine. I do believe, uh, I mean, we could start business talk now or we can wait till tomorrow. Completely up to you. It just com makes no difference to me. I I, I think it'd be uh, wonderful. We I I feel perfectly fine to to chat business right now. Okay. Um. He 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 looks at you, uh, he looks at you he looks at your companions goes very odd group of people you've decided to bring along for this. Uh, I know, right? I give them to your look. <laughs> no, he doesn't look. He just like points back over his shoulder, like I know, right? Uh, yes. Don't, 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 don't mind them. Uh, I, I can't say uh, it, it's by choice. Uh, my my father, he uh, he recommended the majority of the people here, so I can assure you they're they're very respectable, including me. He he he, he looks. Mm, I said you. majority. Yeah. <laughs> He looks over at you, uh, Bread, and he notices, like, a lot of your, your gear. He And he goes, oh, sir, uh, bear, uh, sorry, I don't really mean to, I don't mean to be rude, um, but, uh, are you by chance an artificer? Uh, yes, um, I, uh, I do, I do t like, enjoy to tinker with things, is it? Uh, is, uh, are, are you perhaps a, a, a fellow tinkerer? Perhaps we can. I, uh... I am not. However, I do believe in the idea of improving upon our country's uh, production, if you would. Uh, maybe I can have a discussion with you at a later date, or. Well... I mean, I I am I'm a, a firm believer in uh, uh, in, in, in in improving well ev everything that that can be improved through the uh, the application of of technology uh, and a, a little bit of the the arcane. I mean, perhaps I could interest you in a quick demonstration <laughs> of something, and I as, um, start rummaging around in in the bag. As, as, you, as you as you do, um, the young lady at his arm. Uh, uh, because as as you two kind of like start to click and get along, young lady on his, on his arm like kind of like let's go comes over to the the other four of you, uh, Fer Ferris, uh, Crow, and you Numpty. Uh, he, she goes, oh, terribly sorry about her, him. I uh, if you'd like to come on in and I can give you guys some tea and or uh, fruits to uh, sate your appetite till uh. Uh, to lunch. Do oh, yes. for it? That would be wonderful. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> she she gives a slight little giggle. She goes, "No, you it, it is a um it is a host's job to make sure your guests feel welcome. So you don't have to pay for it." You drive a hard that... bargain, but deal. <laughs> <laughs> um you, uh, so she she leads you guys on the in, uh, to the inside of the uh, of the giant manor slash castle and uh, b uh, bread you and uh, uh, Sir Rathen, uh 
kind of like go on in after, but like still bantering back and forth about some ideas and uh, things of that nature. Um, you're you're showing him like as you're doing so, you're also showing him like some like some of the small tinkering items that you you've been worked on throughout the years. Um, um, but uh, the lady uh, starts like handing out tea, milk, uh, whatever, like water, whatever's really at hand to uh, to everyone there. Uh, even to uh, the Lord and you, uh, Brett, even though you guys are deeply engrossed in some uh, 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 conversation. But um, he looks... Uh, but he kind of like um, kind of like shakes his head and goes, wait, I have... I've, sorry, I got ahead of myself. Um... He turns to you, Ferret, and he goes, So, I, uh... Um... Yes? How do you, How should we discuss our business? Um... How, how, however, however you want to. I, I am a, I am but a guest in, uh, in, in, in your manner, after all. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I, uh... I'll, uh, let's see here. Where do we, where do we begin? Um. Next time, maybe. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll finish up here in a second. Um. He goes, where do we begin? I dare say, actually. Um. Barrett. Yes. Give me. Yes. I... Wisdom saving throw. Oof. You feel something slightly come over you. Oh, uh, not again. <laughs> 16 does not beat this effect. God damn it. You feel like a burning sensation around your neck. Um, you look down and you notice it, but never recall ever doing it. The necklace that you got from the young lady is around your neck. Oh, God. Okay. As you are... Look down, you are compelled to mention Cordelia to this gentleman. As you do so, you mention her name. And both him... And the young lady become eyes glazed over as if they are being something different without like without a proper arcana check, you don't really know what's going on, but their eyes kind of gloss over. He simply like tilts his head downward. Looks hey, are you side. guys there? And I kind of just wave in front of their face. You you wave yeah. your hand in the face. Um, he grabs your hand in a very lightning fast motion. Hi. Oh, jeez. Um, and simply, um. He said, uh, he glances over, he looks over at one of the guards, goes, seize them. I well, give him I a want... headbutt. Yeah. Wait, as, um, as he gives the order to do so, a handful of guards start 
st uh, start storming into the room. And I need everyone here to roll initiative. Oh, oh. And with that, we will uh, do <laughs> the next saying. session. <laughs> we'll, we will do combat ah. the next next session. Oof. You don't have to. We can, we can roll the next time, totally. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. could. Yeah, we could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, let's just forget this. Oh, I just saw. I just saw your six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. Look! Look at mine, though. Varus will save us. It'll be fine. <laughs> what? My fair, Good fair job. Action will be fucking off. May I leave you guys do it? And then You're just like, thought. bye. Floating away. <laughs> disappear and then freaking crow's gonna disappear into the shadows and just become one with, uh, with the bed somewhere in the manor. Oh, um, no. Oh, no. yes. yes, no, we will pick up on this very uh, shocking turn of events during the next session of Risky Business. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it, or at least the first narrative yeah. session. It is, I'm not used to going on with a longer session, and the Empty spaces in between were kind of unprepared, though I very much uh, like how we got to where we are. He was nice. very yeah. unhappy with that. I, that yeah. was great fun. Um, that, I think that was perhaps a, a virtual round of applause for 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 Goatman uh, managing to improvise so well there. Oh, thank you, thank you. 